Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Pirate. No, I want to be the Sea King. Chapter 21. The enemy was in a panic, and the enemy was in a panic. Run, run, swoosh. An arrow shot out, and the people who had spent all their savings for the country fell into the hands of the king he trusted. In the pool of blood, there was still disbelief in his eyes, why? Why did the beloved king kill him? Ah. Stop. Stop it. King Liku cried and begged, but his body could not stop at all, and he was at the mercy of killing his beloved people. King Liku, please stop. What did we do wrong? Even now, the people on the side still felt that they had done something wrong. Get out of the way, don't come near me, stay away from me, ah ah ah, King Riku cried and wailed, but he couldn't control his body no matter what he did. Why? Why did my body move on its own? Why? Your Majesty, what happened to you? The Commander-in-Chief of the soldiers also stared blankly at their beloved King Riku. What a, cruel king. On the huge castle of the Kingdom of Dressrosa, Don Quixote da Flamingo grinned and laughed wantonly. Come on, the night has just begun, lovely warriors, you guys should jump up too. Parasitic line. Ha, -ha run, even the warriors are going crazy. King Riku trampled on our trust in him. He robbed people of their money and lives, and treated us like garbage for his own selfish desires. King Riku, you fool. We hate you. You are simply a scumbag. Run. King Riku's army is coming. Who will stop this? Swish. A wave of water light slashed through the sky, and its sharp edge continued to spread out, cutting off all the thin lines that were invisible to the naked eye in the middle, leaving a thin and long slash mark all the way to the huge castle at the end of the city far away. Slashing so far. Da Flamingo's face changed. From the small town to the castle at the end of the city, it was too far. Yes. I can control it. King Riku was stunned. Quick. Drop your weapons and save the wounded immediately. All the soldiers stopped killing and threw away their weapons, and explained to the people. Tap tap tap. Are you the king of this country? Hancock asked with a condescending and arrogant attitude, and her powerful aura shocked everyone. Behind her was the nine snakes pirates and the eight woman carriage that looked like a carriage. Panic, anxiety, and crying all stopped abruptly. Whether it was the people, King Riku, or the soldiers, they all stared at this proud and beautiful empress. Yes. I am. Did you save us? King Riku still had snot hanging from his nose, but he also understood that the sudden stop was not because the devil had a change of heart, but because someone else saved him. We have something to ask you. Hey, Boa Hancock. This is my target. Da Flamingo came with a group of family cadres, his face darkened and even ferocious. He had been preparing for this day for a long time, and even planted spies in advance. But he didn't expect that when he was about to succeed, someone would force his way in. Then change your target, I like this place. Hancock had a blank expression on his face, and didn't take it seriously at all. How dare a mere woman talk to the young master like this? Mr. Diamante was unhappy. Cinepink, Dallinger, Lao Ji, Mabe, Gladius, Sugar, Monet, Jora and other cadres stepped forward collectively, and the momentum pressed up. The Nine Snakes pirates also held their weapons, and Sandisonia, Marigold, Gentian, Cosmos, Daisy, Purple Fan Flower and others did not give in. Although they are women, even children in the Amazon Lily country have mastered domineering, and they regard strength as beauty. They are a real fighting nation. Every member of the Nine Snakes pirates is a leader in the national competition. It can be said that each of them has two-color domineering and has strong strength. If it wasn't for the plot, how could Luffy have won against Sandersonia and Marigold with that strength? Not to mention being too strong, he was at least an elite vice-admiral who mastered the dual-color domineering of the Navy headquarters. All of a sudden, the atmosphere became extremely tense, and the war seemed to be on the verge of breaking out. King Riku looked at the two sides dumbfounded, not daring to suck the snot hanging from his nose. When did their poor country become so welcoming? Da Flamingo looked at Hancock behind him. The Nine Snakes pirates gritted their teeth and decided to retreat. Hancock, what do you want? I can consider giving it to you. You. King Riku wanted to stop him, but he found that he had no right to speak. He even trembled when he spoke in this atmosphere. What an idiot, after you are driven away, everything in this country belongs to my sister and, that adult. 
Green-haired Sonda Sonia laughed and almost let it slip. Quote, exclamation mark quote. Da Flamingo's forehead was bulging with veins. He was unruly and brutal, and never had a good temper. Unable to bear it any longer, a powerful domineering color rushed out. Hancock's domineering color was also released. Those who have domineering color will never succumb to others, nor will they give in half a step. Buzz. Single quote. The collision of the two domineering colors caused a wave of air to hit, like a storm. The dust was raised, the flames were blown out, and even people could not open their eyes. In this invisible world, the black and red lightning danced like a snake, which made people's scalps numb. The people of the kingdom of Dressrosa fell one after another, and even the warriors who had experienced hundreds of battles could not resist. This woman actually has the conqueror's hockey. Trebol was so scared that his nose was spitting. She actually suppressed the young master's hockey. The others were also terrified, and they felt like they had kicked an iron plate and regretted it. They have always regarded the conqueror's hockey as a symbol of the overlord of the sea, and because of the conqueror's hockey, they worship Da Flamingo as their master. Now a woman has it, and she is superior to their young master. What the hell? Da Flamingo was also shocked. He didn't expect to be suppressed. The conqueror's hockey can't spread out at all. However, as it was compressed, the strength of this small circle of conqueror's hockey became higher, which was enough to protect itself. Da Flamingo, a voice came out in the noise. Quote, exclamation mark quote. Da Flamingo's pupils contracted and his eyes looked at the monkey girl car. Give me face. Otherwise, stay here forever. The voice came from the monkey girl car, and Hancock also retracted her domineering aura standing beside the monkey girl car and looking at him indifferently, as if the arrogant empress gave him a chance to breathe, and it seemed that the people in the monkey girl car were the leader. You said I should give you face. You don't even dare to show your true face, how can I give you face? Da Flamingo looked up at the monkey girl car. Are you sure you want to know? Adolf said calmly. Da Flamingo was silent for a moment. His eyes looked at Hancock standing next to the monkey girl car, and the entire nine snake pirates stood behind him. He didn't know who was inside, but from Hancock's attitude, he knew that the person inside was not ordinary. Once he showed up, he might have no other choice. He is confident that he can run away if a battle breaks out, but I am afraid that none of the family cadres behind him will be left alive. The Dressrosa kingdom belonged to the Don Quixote family 800 years ago. I am just taking back what belongs to me. Da Flamingo's tone sank. 800 years ago. Why don't you say 10,000 years ago? According to your calculation, this world did not originally belong to the world government. It did not belong to the celestial dragons. Da Flamingo looked fierce. You want to protect the Dressrosa kingdom. The two of them were very close. It can be considered as such. I won't stay here to be their nanny. If you want to do something after we leave, you are happy, but I will kill you. Adolf said calmly. You guy. One sentence made Da Flamingo's forehead veins pop up, and one sentence made him angry. Then he got angry for a while. HMPH. Let's go. Da Flamingo suppressed his anger. Huh. Young master, are you going to give it to them just like that? It's just a group of women. A guy who doesn't even dare to show his face, are you afraid of them? Dover, fight, how can you know if you don't try? Everyone was stunned. This cowardice was too sudden. It was too ugly for a pirate to be defeated like this. Shut up, a bunch of idiots. Da Flamingo yelled angrily. Doesn't he want to fight to his heart's content? Our goal is to steal the country. Now we have been discovered. If we drag it down, the navy will intervene. This is a member of the world government. Adolf watched the Da Flamingo family leave, and had no intention of stopping them. Even if he joined forces with Hancock, he was not sure that Da Flamingo would stay. He could fly to the sky. If he couldn't keep everyone, he would be exposed. Instead, Amazon Lily would be put in a passive position. He didn't want to see a mutual destruction. King Riku, take us to your castle. Adolf said. Okay, okay. He was obviously the king of a country, but he acted like an elementary school student. He didn't react to what was going on. When King Riku returned to the castle with the Nine Snakes pirates, Violet, Scarlet, son-in-law Cyrus, and granddaughter Rebecca had already arrived at the castle. Father, 
What happened outside? Why did you suddenly kill the people? Scarlet couldn't help asking when she saw King Riku coming back. Let all the servants and guards go out. Hancock said coldly. Your Majesty King Riku. Who are they? Cyrus looked at the Nine Snakes pirates on guard. All of you go out. King Riku waved his hand. Marigorud also asked the other members of the Nine Snakes pirates to be on guard outside. Scarlet looked at her sister Violet. Of course, Violet understood what her sister meant, and she had seen it with her ability before. She whispered, it's a mermaid, with a blue tail. However, without her telling on, Adolf came out of the monkey girl's car by himself. Peeping and telling on others, this habit is not good. Adolf looked at the user of the staring fruit in the purple dress, and then glanced at the others. Scarlet in the pink dress, unfortunately, is now married, and even her child is six years old. No way, I'll wait for you for ten years. Ah, Adolf. King Riku opened his mouth wide, he never thought it would be this guy. The one who killed the celestial dragons. Adolf. Cyrus was also terrified. So remember to keep it secret, if the world government knows that I've been here, all of you will be finished, Adolf's mouth curled up slightly. You you you. King Riku's eyes were bloodshot. The man who killed the celestial dragons for freedom. Scarlet had also read the newspaper and admired Adolf very much. That's right, I'd rather die than be free. In this sea of life and death, I'm lucky I succeeded. Adolf smiled, then looked at Violet. Let's get straight to the point, I came here for only one purpose, I want you to be the user of the staring fruit ability, is it called? Violet. Violet said a little scared. Don't even think about it. If you want to touch Scarlet's family, you have to step over my dead body. Cyrus stood in front with a sword, ready to fight to the death. If you want to die, I'm happy to take care of your wife and daughter for you. The princess is so beautiful and your daughter is so cute. I won't suffer any loss at all. Speaking of which, if I kill you all, it can keep it a secret. Adolf was casual, and he was a little tempted. After all, Scarlet is really good, and she has the attribute of being a wife. If it's at Cyrus's grave. No, no, he is a decent person, how can he do that kind of thing? But if he wants to die himself, or is killed by others, there is nothing he can do. He can't be left alone. You dare. Cyrus was furious. Family is the reverse scale of all good men. Scarlet was also panicked, and quickly pulled Rebecca behind him. Cyrus. King Riku stopped him, his heart was extremely complicated, they saved me. Drive Da Flamingo away, otherwise we are all dead now, and Dressrosa will be in Da Flamingo's hands. They. Everyone was surprised. Just now Monet opened the castle gate and let a group of pirates in. She was a spy planted by the pirates, but later Adolf and his men came to rescue my father, and the pirates went out. Violet said. She has the ability of the stare stare fruit, and she saw the whole thing very clearly. In fact, she doesn't have much hostility towards Adolf and his men. But you came here and asked for her by name. How can a girl not be afraid? What if it's a group of people? No, no, even one person is not okay. I must take Violet away. It's not too much as a reward for protecting you this time, right? In addition, I hope you keep it secret and hide that I have been here. Quote. Of course, if you want to make a big fuss, I will say that I came here to make a deal with you. I think the world government doesn't mind destroying you to show off. The world government can't do anything to me, but it's still easy for you. Even if you talk to the world government, it's hard to say about Da Flamingo. Adolf was calm and had them completely in his hands. This. Everyone was dumbfounded. If the world government knew, I really don't know what would happen. Will the world government listen to their explanation? The little goodwill they had just had disappeared, and they felt even more desperate about their situation. There is the world government in front, Da Flamingo in the back, and Adolf might even retaliate. It's too difficult for them. It's just a poor agricultural country. Is it really necessary to do this? Princess Violet, you don't want anything to happen to the kingdom of Dressrosa, do you? Adolf's mouth curled up slightly, he had them in his hands. I, I am willing to go with you. But you must not hurt father and sister. Violet mustered up her courage. So I am trying to reason with them now, but interests make them more rational than reason. Adolf was helpless, he was obviously a good man. 
King Riku, you know what to do next, right? Clean the floor well. Come in, we should go. Then she returned to the ape girl's car. Violet. Sorry, father is useless. King Riku burst into tears. Violet shook her head, at least the most tragic situation didn't happen, and this is the best now. Rebecca, auntie will play with you in the future, listen to mommy. She pinched Rebecca's little face. Auntie, are you leaving? Rebecca grabbed her hand reluctantly. Auntie will come back, she said helplessly and followed into the ape girl's car. Auntie, I will save you back. Rebecca yelled at the team going away. The separation of life and death makes me feel like I am the most unforgivable person. Adolf was speechless. This little cutie would not fight him to death in the future. Forget it, it's useless to come here. The old man was very angry. Tiantian. Celestial dragons. Violet was completely stunned when she entered the Nine Snakes pirate ship. She actually saw celestial dragons tied to the head of the bed. The head of the bed. Doesn't that mean? At this moment, her mind was full of rockstar band plots. But in fact, she was right underscore. Come sit down. Adolf held Violet's hand. Ah. No. Don't touch me, I will be obedient, don't tie me up. Violet was frightened. Ha 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 ha. Aina and the others couldn't help laughing. Sha Lulia Palace bit her lip and turned her head away. A noble of the world, what a shame. But she had taken the initiative to do something even more humiliating. What else could she do? Violet reacted, sorry, I was too nervous. Let me introduce your ability first. Adolf didn't care. I am the user of the staring fruit, I can see through all lies and see through. Violet said, with her hands clasped upside down in her eye sockets and looking at Adolf. Hem. Adolf frowned. Ah. You, Violet's face suddenly turned red. She actually saw Adolf's crazy attack on her, too. I want you to help me, don't just look at my thoughts. Adolf's words were a little cold. Sorry. Violet lowered her head in shock. Normally, it is in a state of clairvoyance, which allows vision to be used with itself as the center point, and to observe long distances within a radius of 4,000 kilometers. 4,000 kilometers. Hancock was surprised. This distance is too far. No wonder a user of the stair stair fruit can ensure that the Nine Snake Island is safe. Look at where Doflamingo and his men are. Adolf said. Violet looked around and soon found Doflamingo and his men, 70 kilometers to the east, leaving the kingdom of Dressrosa. Write down Doflamingo's phone number. Adolf said. Violet nodded and saw Doflamingo's Den Den Mushi number directly. Adolf nodded, let's go, to the island next to it. You are looking for the Dantata tribe. Violet was nervous. I need their power. Don't worry, they won't mess around. Adolf did not hide it. Both the healing fruit and the dwarf tribe themselves were strategic. The Danta tribe, or the dwarf tribe, has a body the size of a fist, but possesses extremely exaggerated strength and speed. They are also good at plant cultivation and love nature. They cultivate the raw materials for Doflamingo's artificial devil fruit, which is enough to prove their ability. But they are also extremely innocent and pure, like children who never grow up in fairy tales. They believe in nonsense and are very easy to be deceived. It's Princess Violet. Princess Mancherry, Leo, Rambo. Violet looked at them happily. Princess Violet, are they your friends? So magical, the lower body is a fish. A group of dwarfs surrounded Adolf. Because of the relationship brought by Violet, they were not wary of Adolf and completely regarded him as their own. Because I am a mermaid, a creature living in the sea, and a special race like you. Adolf's words made them feel like one of their own. Wow, mermaids, such beautiful scales, can I touch them? Princess Mancherry poked Adolf's tail scales curiously. Actually, I have something to ask of you. Adolf began to tell a story. Just tell me what's going on. You are Princess Violet's friend, and we will definitely help you. Leo patted his chest and said. This is not enough, and we can't just rely on the relationship of Violet's friend. Let me introduce myself first. My name is Adolf, and I am a mermaid from the Deep Sea Fishman Island. Because I am a rare mermaid, I was almost sold as a slave by the Celestial Dragons. Adolf confessed that he did not cover up his shameful experience at all, but used it as a weapon. After all, he successfully escaped by killing the Celestial Dragons and made Sengoku Akainu kneel down. 
it is also something worth boasting about when mentioning it to others. Slaves. The celestial dragons are so hateful. The little people hate evil like an enemy. I was lucky to escape before being sent to Marihoa, but in Marihoa, there are still countless people enslaved by the celestial dragons. Humans, giants, mermaids, fishmen, fur people, long-legged people, long-handed people, snake-headed people, dwarf people, etc., and even many races that were cruelly exterminated. Adao. Adolf clenched his fists tightly, his chest burning with anger, even his domineering color, unconsciously, spread with the anger, making everyone feel his anger in a substantial way. Adolf. Hancock felt the same way. Adolf. Violet looked at him, and now she suddenly felt a sense of recognition. Dwarfs. Are there also enslaved people in the Dantata tribe? There is even genocide, it's too scary. They are so pitiful, the celestial dragons and those kings and nobles are so hateful. The dwarfs became angry all of a sudden, and they wanted to knock all those people down right now. In the crowd, the leader of the Dantata tribe, Ganjo, walked out with a cane. In the past, our Dantata tribe was also enslaved, that was a dark and bloody history. The Don Quixote family, later became one of the twenty kings, and now the celestial dragons. The Don Quixote family. Violet was shocked, she didn't expect Da Flamingo to be a celestial dragon. What's wrong? The dwarfs couldn't help but look. Just now, the Don Quixote family came to the Dressrosa kingdom. Violet said. Are those demons coming back? The dwarfs panicked. Yes, that guy controlled my father and massacred the people. Adolf drove them away. Violet said complicatedly. Great, if the Don Quixote family comes back, we will be finished too. Gan Chao, the leader of the Danteta tribe, was afraid. Thank you, Adolf Lando. The dwarfs thanked in unison. It's just a little effort, but there are still countless prisoners in Marihoa. I want to end it all completely. Punish all the celestial dragons, those cruel kings and nobles, including those garbage on the sea, and let the whole world return to peace and order. Adolf clenched his fist and shouted, swearing his ambition. At this moment, he seemed to be fighting, fighting with people's sleeping hearts, awakening numb souls. At this moment, the sun rose behind him. All the little people held their hands, opened their mouths wide, and looked at him with admiration, like a great hero holding a banner high. My strength alone is not enough. Adolf lowered his head, looked at the little people, looked at Leo, looked at Princess Manchili and others, and stretched out his palm. I need you, the world needs you, and you also need you to make your own voices. Are you willing to fight for yourself? Adolf Lando, let us fight for you. Manchili mustered up the courage. No, you are fighting for yourself, not for me. Adolf transferred the sense of crisis to them, and suddenly felt the crisis of the storm. That's right, for our own sake, if the Don Quixote family comes back, we will all be finished. Leo believed it instantly, and all the little people also firmly believed it. The fighting will is extremely high. The king of the country, the king of the country. Dover, are we just giving up like this? That's your country. Trebol said with a snot hanging from his nose. Da Flamingo glanced at him and said calmly, that guy is right. After all, 800 years have passed. This is no longer our kingdom. Maybe King Riku has already contacted the world government to change to other non-member countries. It is unreasonable for the seven warlords to seize member countries. If they allow it, wouldn't it be a slap in their own face? But he is still a celestial dragon without the identity of a celestial dragon. What will happen is definitely not possible, but warnings are inevitable. Who is that mysterious guy? It's just a little bit. Heike complained like a eunuch. It's probably not an ordinary person who can make a woman with domineering color domineering completely listen to him. Diamante thought. It's a pity that I've been exposed, otherwise I can go back to the castle to get information. Monet pushed the frame of his reading glasses. Dash 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 dash. Nothing is more direct than violence, and nothing is more long-lasting than thought. After Adolf's speech, the dwarfs completely changed into his shape and died. Princess Manchili, please keep making products with healing effects and store them. Adolf said. Okay. 
Princess Manchili nodded, without asking why. The dwarfs are a naive race, and they are likely to forget after a few days of heat. For this reason, Adolf specially added. Princess Manchili, there will be deaths on the battlefield. Every more healing means one less sacrifice. Your ability will save countless soldiers, countless families, and even affect the direction of the world. Ah. I will do my best to make healing dandelions. Manchili panicked and promised. It turns out that she is so important. She has a sense of responsibility. Thank you for your understanding. You don't have to work too hard. Your health is also very precious. Adolf smiled gently. Although she has no direct combat power, it is not an exaggeration. Who doesn't know the importance of a nanny? Dongtata tribe leader Gan Chao, can I ask you to lead the dwarfs to cultivate high-yield crops? Adolf looked at the old dwarf tribe leader who was leaning on a cane. High-yield crops are a piece of cake for us Dongtata tribe. Dongtata tribe leader Gan Chao was full of confidence. Thank you for your understanding. The whole world is an island. Many places are not suitable for growing food. Countless people starve and die like dry firewood. Children have never eaten enough and experienced the taste of being full until they die. If there are high yield, easy to feed and easy to grow crops, they will not die and can live happily. Although there are only a few thousand of you, the little people have the ability to save millions of people, benefit the world, and make everyone feel happy after eating. Adolf seems to have the world in his heart and empathize with compassion. The flame of fighting spirit that directly makes the eyes of the whole little people burn, please leave it to us. Adolf Lando. The sense of responsibility, mission, and honor are completely ignited. That kind heart urges them to burn themselves desperately, and they feel guilty for taking a second to rest. Not even a bailey is needed, the spiritual food is already full. Then I'll leave it to you. Adolf entrusted sincerely and solemnly. So every leader must have a good skill in drawing cakes, especially the leader. Cakes with ideological awareness can not only satisfy hunger, but also bring happiness and strength to people. You didn't give enough money, the cake was not round, and you still acted like you were making 2.58 million every day. What's the point of serving me with 3,000 salary? Adolf, that. Violet suddenly hesitated. What's wrong? The Dressrosa Kingdom is a pure agricultural country. Everyone lives a very hard life. Some villagers can't eat enough. Can these crop seeds? Violet was embarrassed. Adolf was speechless. Such a powerful neighbor, the two tribes often play together, and you haven't thought about doing anything for the people to eat and wear warm clothes for 800 years. Okay, this world is a world of pure comparison. There is no worst, only worse. Compared with those brutal kings who massacred slums at every turn, the Dressrosa Kingdom, which has not had a war for 800 years, is a wise monarch. Violet was embarrassed and speechless. As a royal family, they would never think about these things. I will. I told King Riku that the high-yield crop seeds here should be promoted in the kingdom of Dressrosa first, and can also be exported to the outside world as a vegetable planting country, or stored in stock, and I will buy them all. Adolf said. Yes, please, so that everyone in the kingdom of Dressrosa can live a better life. Violet was grateful. For such a large kingdom, 10 billion needs to be raised by the people of the whole country, which is outrageous. Along can receive 25 million baileys in a village in the East China Sea, okay. Converted to 250 adults, and it has been collected for 10 years. Although King Riku is a good man, Adolf Lando is indeed a man with the world in his heart, the dwarfs came to the conclusion that they were extremely proud to work for such a person. Then everyone, I should leave too. I am now wanted by the world government and it is not suitable for me to stay here for a long time. Please also treat me as a secret, don't mention it to anyone else, and don't talk about it at ordinary times. Quote. If others hear it, it will probably bring you disaster. If you really encounter that situation, you must hide, and then contact me with the bug phone, and I will take you to a safe place. Adolf gave them a den den mushi. Then, then the dwarfs dismantled the den den mushi in an instant, letting the snail worm crawl. Quote dot 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 quote. Adolf's words got stuck in his throat. We love nature and don't like to trap animals like this. Yanjo, the leader of the Dongta tribe, explained. Okay. You are happy, but you must install it and call me when you need it. Adolf said. 
The Den Den Mushi itself is a living creature. You can use it by installing a key microphone, and it doesn't matter if you dismantle it at other times. After that, Adolf also left Green Bit with a group of people. Back to the Nine Snake Pirate Ship. Hancock, Sonda Sonia, and Marigold are here. Violet is not allowed to peek. Quote. Adolf waved and took the three Hancock sisters to a secret room. What's wrong? You're coming here too. Sonda Sonia was puzzled. Take off your clothes. Quote question mark quote. Marigord and Sonda Sonia were stunned, blushing and squirming. But Hancock did not hesitate, completely trusted them, and took off all her clothes. Turn around. Hancock turned around obediently, and Adolf lifted his long hair. Using the healing tears that had just been collected, he healed the dragon's hoof on Hancock's back, leaving no scars or marks. It disappeared. It disappeared completely. Marigord and Sonda Sonia were so happy that they burst into tears. Hem. Hancock also reacted, shaking in disbelief. Could it be? Could it be that the mark? Look. Adolf took out the mirror, and the snow white and smooth back was so beautiful. Two tears flowed from Hancock's eyes, and the emotions in her heart could not be suppressed. Adolf. Thank you, thank you Adolf. Quote. You gave us a new life. Adolf hugged her and comforted her, then think about what reward to give me, I will also remove it for Marigold and Santa Sonia. Yes. Hancock nodded heavily, with a blush on her face. So that day, she greeted him affectionately with her mouth. The old man was very angry. It's been more than three months, and there's no news at all. The god of science defense, Zagolusia Satan, clenched his palms. Those two idiots are probably finished, just destroy Fishman Island. The god of law, Topman Bochuli, said simply. Let Figer and Garin go too. If he dares to do it like last time, we'll kill him together. Wano country style finance god, Azamburn B. Nasujuro said. It seems that Fishman Island is flying the flag of the Whitebeard Pirates. The god of environment, Marcus Mosh, said. It doesn't matter. If they dare to come, we will destroy them. The thing this sea lacks the least is pirates. The god of agriculture, Shepherd, Ten, Pit Saint, completely ignored the title of the so-called strongest in the world. It should have been like this a long time ago. I have waited so long in vain. Then it is decided, publish the newspaper, destroy Fishman Island in ten days. Exterminate all fish. The authority of the world's nobles cannot be challenged. In just a few minutes, the highest power of the world government decided the extinction of a race. Just like the many races that have been exterminated, only a few are left drifting in the sea, hiding their identities. After receiving the order, Marshal Sengoku of the Navy headquarters ordered to quickly summon a large number of coating divisions to coat the warships. Adolf is not good, the world government has sent a message that Fishman Island will be destroyed in 10 days. Hancock ran in with a newspaper, extremely anxious. Adolf's mood sank after reading the newspaper. Others in the room did not dare to breathe, and looked at him worriedly. It's expected, but it's a pity. I thought that kidnapping the celestial dragons would buy me more time, but I didn't expect it to be so fast. If I could have two and a half years, the world government. Adolf sighed. Do you want to go back to Fishman Island? Hancock stood firmly behind him, even if it brought disaster to the Amazon Lily, she would not hesitate. This is love brain. Adolf pressed the back of Hancock's hand and nodded, this matter started because of me. I can't pretend that I didn't see anything and let so many people be implicated by me. According to his original plan, after he had a little strength to withstand a few times, he would go to teach her Kaido for further study. He also dealt with the racial bloodline of the flame disaster Jin, and a wave of sudden rise. Then there is the bloodline factor of Big Mom, and finally the monster-like power of Whitebeard. After practicing hard for another two and a half years, he did not allow anyone to speak loudly. But plans cannot keep up with changes. He can't watch Fishman Island destroyed because of him. The education he has always received makes him unacceptable. Next, please keep an eye on the Navy and the world government. I'm going to see Doflamingo. Doflamingo, that bad guy. Violet undoubtedly hated and feared the bad guy who almost destroyed her country. He is engaged in the underground arms business and has a large territory in the North Sea, which can provide me with enough ammunition. 
Don't worry, if he dares to attack the Dressrosa kingdom, I will make him die in the sea. After I survive this period, he will be useless. In my heart, he can't compare with you. You are my own. Adolf stood behind her to comfort her. Well, I believe you. There is no other way when it is special. Violet's face was slightly flushed. After this period of time, she believed in Adolf very much. Exciting things are often seen on the ship. Adolf thought about it, rubbed his hands at high speed, and soon a ball of milky white viscous liquid appeared, like a high concentration detergent. Then he blew hard at the place where his hands were closed, and a huge bubble was blown out, wrapping the Nine Snakes pirate ship with great resilience. At the same time, the seawater below was pushed away, and it completely possessed the characteristics of coating. Coating, coating your hands. Coating is the use of bubbles after all. Fish can secrete special mucus, and mermaid body fluids are stronger than ordinary coatings after processing. Okay, you guys go quickly, don't let others find you on the way, it's not suitable to be exposed now. Adolf warned. Hem. Dash 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 dash. Your Majesty, it's not good. It's a big deal. The catfish mermaid wearing a top hat came in anxiously with a newspaper. What's wrong, Minister Zuo, is there something wrong with Otohime again? Neptune, the king of Fishman Island, and indifferent. Then the giant coelacanth mermaid. No, no, look at the newspaper. What? The world government is going to destroy Fishman Island in 10 days. Exterminate all the fishmen and mermaids. Neptune was terrified and lost all his strength. What? The world government wants it. What should we do? Fishman Island can't resist at all. The right minister was panicked, completely panicked. Don't tell Otohime about this first. Neptune said hurriedly. But the newspaper has already spread in Fishman Island, everyone is panicking, and they all want to escape from Fishman Island. Bang. Princess Otohime was standing behind, she had heard it, and her tears could not stop flowing. We have already obtained the documents signed by the Celestial Dragons. We are just one step away from landing on land. But why? Why at this time? No. I must act. We must let the world government see our determination. We are eager for peace. We are not bad people. We will not hurt others. Sign. Everyone should sign faster. Princess Otohime rushed out in panic. Go and call Jinbei. Neptune was anxious. The sky was falling. Run, run. Fishman Island is going to be destroyed. It's over, it's all over. We will be hunted down endlessly in the future. Adolf. It's all his fault. It's all that guy's fault. Pack your bags and run away. If you don't run, it's all over. Fishman Island has a population of 5 million. Everyone was terrified when they saw the newspaper. That's the judgment of death. We can't run, no one can run. If we leave Fishman Island, where can we go? Where can we find sunshine and air? Princess Otohime's anxious voice came from the broadcasting Den Den Mushi. It will be solved, it will definitely be solved. Let's express our wishes to the world government together. As long as we work together and express that we have no ill intentions, it will definitely be possible. Dash 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 Dover, there is no one on the island. Pike emerged into the rock and inspected it. Hey, we won't wait for him. Traybull dragged his nose impatiently. Wait a minute, this is a big deal worth billions. Diamante got off the ship. You guys take the goods off the ship. Da Flamingo commanded. Then how long do we have to wait? Wait, after all, this one is. Swish. Don't shout, it's coming. A sea beast like a polar bear emerged from the water. The huge body stood up to a height of 100 meters, equivalent to 33 floors. It was burly and ferocious, and the shadow was full of oppression. Ordinary pirate ships were just large toy ships in front of it. And on its back was a mermaid with a slender sky blue scale tail. Hey, 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 hey. God Slayer Adolf. Bounty of one billion baileys. The man who killed the celestial dragons and forced the Navy Marshal Sengoku and Admiral Akainu to kneel down. 
Da Flamingo laughed wantonly with his mouth grinning from ear to ear. It was obviously a laugh, but it revealed an indescribable arrogance and brutality, as if it would suddenly burst out the next moment. Let's get straight to the point without talking too much nonsense. Have you brought the samples? Adolf got off the sea beast and scanned it. His eyes lingered on Monet, Sugar, and Baby Minus Five. Two strategic god-level fruits, one natural fruit, and both are beauties. Let's wait until the matter of Fishman Island is over before we attack Da Flamingo. Time is too tight now. Single quote. Have you brought your deposit? Da Flamingo stepped on the wooden box and refused to budge. The Don Quixote family surrounded him, and said cruelly, you don't look like you brought money. You dare to come without money, are you kidding our Don Quixote family? You can pay with your one billion heads. Mermaid Karate Water Punch. Boom. Adolf ignored their nagging and punched out directly. The white water vapor was like a particle cannon, forcing Da Flamingo to dodge quickly. However, behind him, countless trees were destroyed, a two and a half meter gully on the ground extended hundreds of meters away, and a hole was opened in the belly of a mountain. Da Flamingo's forehead was bulging with veins, and his blood vessels were throbbing. Anyone who was suddenly hit by someone would not be able to bear it, let alone a brutal person like him from the underworld. However, Adolf had already opened the wooden box and started to inspect the goods, and took out a cannonball. All the members of the Don Quixote family used their abilities to attack. This guy who dared to offend their young master. Sticky flow. Stone. Bullfighting. Steel helmet explosion. Blizzard. Boom. However, one move after another was raised, Adolf's eyes were cold, black thunder swept, and strong oppression swept. Everyone stopped abruptly, pupils trembling, body trembling, teeth trembling. Hero. Heroic hockey. What a joke, another Hakuoki. Is the new world so crazy? What anger and cruelty, hold it all. At this moment, they felt like clowns. The fire expanded, and a two to three meter deep pit was blown out, with black smoke billowing, and shadows accompanied by burning fire. The cannons in this world are similar to the red cannons, and most of the shells are solid shells, or shrapnel shells with fuses, which need to be ignited with fire before firing. But there are trigger explosions. Slave collars are one of them. Even the celestial dragons dare to sit on their backs. It can be seen that there has never been any problem. The stability is very good. And this kind of shell does not need a fuse, and it will not get wet and damp in the sea and cannot be used. It is just that the price is undoubtedly much more expensive. The thing is okay. How much is one of these shells in berries? Adolf asked directly, without any expression on his previous behavior. 10,000 berries. Da Flamingo quoted. 10,000. 1. Adolf's eyes turned cold. This is the feeling of being slaughtered like a pig. Hey, this is a new type of shell used by the Navy. There are not many underground arms dealers who can produce this kind of goods. The iron material is almost enough to forge a sword. Da Flamingo introduced. Adolf just remembered that Zoro was in Rogue Town. A worst popular sword cost 50,000 berries. How good can you say the quality is? Besides, the price on the black market must be higher. It is not surprising to double it. It is not a merchant ship that was robbed and was in a hurry to get rid of it. Then I want 500,000. 500,000. 5 billion berries. The Don Quixote family grinned. This was a big deal, nearly half of the gold in the sky. I don't have cash, so use this to pay. Adolf took out five test tubes from his arms, which contained a small drop of transparent liquid. You won't tell me that this is worth five billion. Da Flamingo's brutal temper rose again. He was making fun of him. A warship is only 100 million berries, and an unknown devil fruit is 100 million berries. What the hell is this? You can shout one billion for a bottle. The rest of the Don Quixote family couldn't stand it anymore. It was obvious that they were going to rob him. This is called the water of life. It has the ability to restore all injuries of living creatures, even if there is only one breath left, even if the heart is pierced, it can be restored. The simplest and crudest way to use it is to risk one's life. For example, a top sea warrior like Whitebeard, how much combat power can be improved by recovering from injuries and illnesses. Strong men like Kaido and Charlotte risk their lives, who else can be their opponents among the same level? These strong men fight for their lives recklessly, who can stop them? 
but as long as there is a bottle of water of life, the last person standing must be him. One bottle costs one billion, do you still think it's expensive? Adolf shook the five test tubes in his hand, and the clear liquid attracted everyone's attention, becoming so moving and dazzling, as if it was glowing. In this way, one billion seems really not expensive. Swallowing his saliva secretly, as a pirate, he knows too well the feeling of hanging by a thread. If there is a chance to buy life with one billion baileys, no one will hesitate. Of course, the premise is that this pirate has so much money, that is to say, it only targets high-end and powerful pirates. A country can collect 10 billion baileys from the sky gold. Which slightly powerful pirate doesn't have one or two island countries? Big Mom controls more than 30 small island countries. One billion, is it really a lot? Adolf's words are full of temptation to seduce people, as if he can be resurrected and invincible. Young master. The Don Quixote family looked at Doflamingo one by one. At this moment, they were really moved. Whether it is sold or kept to save lives, it is a very good choice. Foo 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 foo. What you said really moved me. Is it the ability of the life devil fruit? Or a scientific research product? How can I be sure of its effect? Da Flamingo looked at Adolf and laughed wantonly with a grin on his face. Effect. I hope you can experience it for yourself. I am also worried that you will fail at the critical moment, so it is necessary to let you know who you are facing. Even if I fail in the next confrontation, it is more than enough to save my life and come back to hunt you down. Adolf looked at Da Flamingo and ignored the first question. You guy. Floating fruit diamante couldn't stand it anymore. This guy didn't take them seriously at all. Others were on guard to prevent Adolf from making a sudden move, and were also preparing to attack. Da Flamingo's face sank, and his eyes were not clear under his sunglasses, but he soon laughed defiantly. Ha ha hey 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 hey. Let's skip this battle. If you have that energy, you might as well think about how to deal with the next battle. Just test the authenticity of the goods. He randomly selected a lucky brother and raised his hand. Wait. Young master, I. Bullet line. The thin line segment flew like a bullet, passing through the heart in an instant, and the powerful impact tore the heart into pieces. Da Flamingo set his sights on Adolf. It's your turn to perform. Adolf opened a test tube and threw the, water of life, onto the wound. It healed miraculously in just a moment. It was that simple. Okay, it's completely fine. The younger brother stood up and jumped excitedly. Really? This thing is so effective. It even destroyed the heart. Everyone was shocked. If it weren't for the blood on the younger brother's chest, they would have suspected that they had seen it wrong. Wait. This one is worth one billion baileys. You dare to waste one billion baileys, go to hell. Torevel reacted and used his ability to kill him in great anger. He died again before he was happy for two seconds, and this time he died like a scum. The other low-level brothers who saw it shuddered and mourned for this companion. It was so unlucky. It's a good thing, but it's hard for me to do anything for you without cash, Adolf. You don't have cash for such a large order of 500,000 pieces. Even if I want to join hands with other underground arms dealers, I can't do it. Da Flamingo spread his hands to show his embarrassment. He couldn't pay for it, could he? Then dilute this thing. The value of the panacea is even more profitable than arms. The noble king is willing to pay for his life. Adolf threw the healing urine in his hand. Ha 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 ha. Those rubbish are really willing to spend money for themselves. Da Flamingo caught the three test tubes and laughed mockingly. That's right, it's healing urine, not tears. You are what you eat the devil fruit. The healing fruit of the healing person, the tears that flow out are healing tears, and the urine is of course healing urine. Even the healing feces. Evil and cruel, the healing blood, but it's not necessary. For others to use, there is no psychological burden for feces and urine, but Princess Mancherry blushed and dared not go out. Excessive shame. It's just that the dwarfs are too small, the whole person is only the size of an ordinary person's fist, and the amount of shit and feces is pitiful. I can only say, drink more hot water. And the advanced use of the healing fruit is to restore everything to its original state regardless of organic and inorganic. Even restoring physical strength, restoring life, restoring age, and this kind of bug-like operation is not impossible, it depends entirely on the development. The ones used will be counted on your head, and these four will be your deposit. Da Flamingo added. 
I don't care how you got it, but I didn't see 100,000 shells after 8 days, you wait to use your head to fill it. The remaining 400,000 shells need to be in 2 months. Adolf can totally accept it. He even has some on him, but he didn't take them out. Follow him, and then send what I want back to Fishman Island. He turned around and ordered the tamed polar bear sea beast behind him. Awoo. The polar bear-like sea beast patted his chest and nodded repeatedly. The sea beast itself has a certain degree of wisdom, but it can only be tamed by the mermaids or fishmen. Ha 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 ha. Then I'll wait and see, don't die so easily. Da Flamingo couldn't help laughing wildly, waving his hands as if he wanted to tear everything apart, full of chaos and madness. At this moment, I hope Adolf can win. Let those high-ranking guys fall from the altar. The world is in chaos. Dad, Fishman Island is still flying our flag, and the world government doesn't take us seriously at all. You dare to make such a fuss, too arrogant. Captain Muir, Fishman Island is your country, why don't you say something? Dad, give the order. On the Moby Dick, the crew of the Whitebeard Pirates shouted in dissatisfaction. The island flying their flag dared to be destroyed, didn't they want to go to war with them? Stupid, don't make a fuss. Marco had a headache, he was really tired of being a nanny all day long. An old man with an IV drip on top, and a group of big idiots howling below. Every worry free. Looking up and looking at Whitebeard worriedly, Dad, don't drink any more, your body. If you can't even drink, life will be too boring. Whitebeard didn't care at all, holding a bottle in one hand and a newspaper in the other, he drank down. Although he doesn't need to hang a bottle every day, his physical fitness and illness will not break out in one day. This is a long-term deterioration process. As a pirate wandering on the sea, people come to challenge and make trouble every few days, and he has to clean up his idiot sons, but he can't compare with the old guys in the Navy Garp, Sengoku Kongu. Huh. Marco, Whitebeard and other strong men suddenly noticed something and turned their heads to look. In the next moment, the sea surface exploded, and a huge figure appeared, a huge sea beast like a black panther. However, compared with giant pirate ships like the Mamobi Dick, it is slightly worse. Sea beast. Ha ha ha, let's have an extra meal today. The first reaction was not fear, but the prey that was delivered to the door. This was the confidence that their strong strength gave them. Just like being rich and inferior will not appear in the same person at the same time. Don't rush to do it, this has an owner. Marco scratched his head and looked at the man on the sea beast with some embarrassment. Just as he finished speaking, a figure jumped down from it. Ah, Adolf. Ha 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 ha. Banquet, banquet. Brothers, let's have a banquet. One by one, their eyes widened, and then they laughed wildly the next moment. Now Adolf is really famous all over the world, even more famous than those big pirates. Which pirate forced the admiral of the navy to kneel down and hold his head? Just this newspaper cover, I don't know how many pirates cut it out and hung it on the ship. Even a large amount of printing was stuffed into the cannon and fired at the branch base, mocking it to the fullest. It can be said that this newspaper is the best bought by the old bird, the most publicity, and the most eye-catching. Of course, the old bird also ran around the world for this. The banquet will be held after I defeat the navy fleet. Adolf looked up at the giant in front of him, a man full of domineering, as if he stood tall and proud. This is not about the size, but the physique, a long-standing momentum. Even if he just sat there, it seemed like an insurmountable mountain. He was so excited when he saw it. Not only did it not become an insurmountable mountain in his heart, but it also stirred up waves. He wanted to try the man who was called the strongest in the world, but also wanted to obtain his talent. He regarded him as prey Edward Newgate. Whitebeard looked at Adolf and saw the fighting spirit in his eyes at a glance. Gulala, kid, you want to challenge me too. Whitebeard laughed heartily and was extremely heroic. This is also one of the reasons why I came here. Adolf did not hide his purpose. Huh. Challenge dad. Quote. You must be joking. Don't think you are qualified to challenge daddy just because you are offered a bounty of one billion berries, you fool. Before, a guy named Crocodile challenged Daddy, but Daddy tied him to a fishing rod and fished with the golden hook in his left hand. Let us play with you, little mermaid. Ha 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 ha. The Whitebeards burst into laughter, not believing that Adolf had the strength to do so. 
if he was strong, how could he be captured and auctioned as a slave? Gulala, the kids nowadays are really amazing, let's give it a try. Whitebeard laughed heartily and stood up, pulling out a machete from behind. After the Sabayati archipelago incident, almost all pirates had a special liking for Adolf. There was no way, this would make them happy for the rest of their lives. Wait a minute, finish talking about the matter first. Adolf called out. He really wanted to. Fight immediately, and then get that monster-like power. It's about Fishman Island. Whitebeard sat down again, took a few gulps of wine, and his expression darkened. It's about this again. Marco's head hurt, and his eyes vaguely looked at the captain of the 8th Division, Namur. To be honest, he really didn't want the Whitebeard pirates and the world government to have a head on conflict because of Fishman Island. Following Whitebeard all the way, he saw the true strength and size of the world government. Only the little devils who don't know anything and haven't seen the cruelty of the sea will be full of enthusiasm and fearlessness. Because of ignorance, there is no fear. Yes. I hope the Whitebeard pirates can provide 300,000 naval shells. Of course not for free, I can buy them with Bailey. Adolf said directly. Huh. This made Whitebeard and Marco stunned. Marco asked for confirmation, do you want to rely on yourself to resist the world government's destruction of Fishman Island? Fishman Island can only be protected by itself. We must also learn to stand bravely in the sun with our own strength. We are a race that lives in the sea and are the darlings of the sea. As long as we muster up courage, no one can defeat us. Adolf's tone was extremely certain and firm. Although people came to this world of pirates, his spirit and his soul will always come from a nation that cannot be crushed. Gulala la 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 la. I underestimated you, Adolf. Whitebeard was full of passion, and even he was excited by these words. Marco stood there and looked at him blankly. He originally thought that he came to ask for help, and even thought of all kinds of unbearable crying and begging scenes, but he never thought it would turn out like this. At this moment, he seemed to see the true phoenix and indelible will in Adolf. If you just rely on spirit, you can't do anything. Teach grinned while holding the cherry pie, but if there is no such spirit, it can't be done. The water was poured out, and the water was poured out. What is that? Whitebeard watched Adolf take out three test tubes. Water of life. I sold it to Da Flamingo to pay off my debts. One test tube is worth one billion baileys. One billion baileys. Just one drop. That's too expensive, isn't it? Everyone's eyes dropped in shock. Adolf opened the test tube, threw the liquid out, and it landed on Whitebeard. Whitebeard did not resist, but let it fall on him, with a little curiosity. A miracle happened at the moment of contact. The body that had experienced thousands of battles recovered in an instant. In particular, all the pains that troubled Whitebeard disappeared. The healing fruit can not only heal injuries, but also diseases and poisons. It can be said that any side effects can be cured. This is the devil fruit. Hem. Almost at the same time, Whitebeard felt a long-lost sense of relief, and his heart beat strongly. Boom. The powerful breath was raging, as if a sleeping beast had awakened, and it caused a strong wind for no reason. What's going on? What happened to Dad? What did this guy do? It wouldn't be poisoning. Stupid thing, open your eyes and look, Dad's injuries are gone. Marco, who had been listless, also opened his eyes and said, Dad's disease is cured. Whitebeard's intravenous drip was never a backlash of the tremor tremor fruit. What really bothered him was the pain, which came with the aging of the body. Even a strong man like Roger would die soon due to illness. Zephyr's combat power also declined due to asthma. Gulala la la la. I feel more relaxed than ever before, as if I'm back to my youth. Whitebeard stood up, his muscular body full of strength, and a powerful force rushed out from inside and outside. Kid, you should give me this thing after the challenge, now there is no chance of winning. Whitebeard drank a few more mouthfuls of wine generously, it was too enjoyable. I didn't think about defeating you now, isn't it nice to see the world's strongest in full condition? Adolf laughed. Dad, you should drink less. Pineapple head Marco was helpless. How can I miss the wine when I'm so happy? Whitebeard was a little helpless, but he was also very happy for this son who cared about him. This was his one piece. Ha 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 Marco, dad's injuries are all healed, let's have a party. The party was full of joy. 
Hey, you guys have to work. Three bottles of water of life worth three billion berries for 300,000 shells. Adolf is troubled by this group of stupid pirates. Even the Whitebeard pirates, who are well reviewed, are pirates who burn and plunder. But there is no way. Good people have little room to survive in this world, let alone to support a force. 300,000. Are you going to destroy a country? The Demon Slayer Order doesn't have so many shells. But it doesn't seem to be too much to fight against the world government. Brothers of the 3rd Division, follow me to rob the naval base. 4th Division, this way. 5th Division, assemble. Where are the 6th Division people? Don't let others get ahead. All of a sudden, the people who were still shouting at the banquet went out to sea immediately, and the atmosphere was like a competition. Marco was troubled. These idiots, daddy hasn't said anything yet. What does it matter? I am also very pleased that my son is filial to his father. Whitebeard was moved and took on all the responsibilities. This thing costs one billion per bottle. You know the effect. The best way to use it is to fight for your life in a high-end battle. Don't worry about a fatal injury. Adolf threw the remaining two bottles to Whitebeard. Two strong men with similar strengths have seriously injured each other. You suddenly took out a bottle of red, and the gap widened instantly. In extreme cases, they gambled their lives and took out each other's hearts. I just don't know if these heroic pirates can do it. The stupid ones might take it out and throw it on the ground. Because they think it is despicable. A fatal injury. One by one, they looked at Adolf speechlessly. Marshal D. Teach looked at the two test tubes and couldn't help asking, is this a devil fruit ability? Or a scientific potion? Does a panacea really exist? Adolf looked at him and saw that he was still a fat man who got along well with his companions. He didn't even have a beard and didn't have any cruelty, greed, or sinister ambition. A meaningful smile, secret. He recognized Teach quite a lot. He was the only one among the pirates who played the role of a pirate seriously, not the prince's travels. Although insidious and cruel, this is what ordinary people are like. Calmly lurking in daily life, risking everything to seize the only chance in life. Ah, sorry, this is a treasure worth one billion baileys. Teach scratched his head embarrassedly, looking harmless. Then Whitebeard, let me see the strongest in the world next. Adolf's fighting spirit was boiling. Sengoku Akainu's bloodline factor made him grow up quickly, and he could no longer suppress his greed for the monster-like power. Gulala. Then let's go back. Edward Newgate laughed. Dash 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 dash. Report, this is the Whitebeard Pirate surveillance ship, we found Adolf. Adolf. Finally out. Sengoku's forehead was bulging with veins, and the uncontrollable anger burned in his heart. Ha ha ha, don't be angry, Sengoku. Ask that guy what he is doing. Is he asking Whitebeard for help? Garp couldn't help but burst out laughing, with no intention of comforting him at all. You are laughing too. This is a disgrace to our entire navy. Sengoku couldn't help but roared. He asked casually on the phone, suppressing his anger, what did that guy do? The Den Den Mushi perfectly imitated Sengoku's gritting his teeth, but had to endure to maintain rational restraint. The distance is too far to confirm, but the captains of the various divisions of the Whitebeard Pirates suddenly went out on a boat. Going out. At this time, Sengoku frowned and felt extremely suspicious. The distance was too far, otherwise he would have seen that Whitebeard had recovered from his injuries and illnesses, but it was only a matter of time before the Navy knew. Oh no. Whitebeard attacked us. Walla la bang. Even though it was a hundred miles away, a warship was instantly torn apart, everyone was shocked to death, and then it was submerged by the surging tsunami. Isn't that guy Whitebeard going to Fishman Island? Garp asked while chewing on a senbei. If Whitebeard wants to intervene, things will be complicated. We are not ready for a full-scale war with Whitebeard, and fighting under the sea is also disadvantageous to Sakuski and others. Sengoku was also in a dilemma. The three admirals now are not eight years later, and they have not grown to that level. But Whitebeard has not aged and been seriously ill for eight years, so he is not still on an IV drip before the war. It can be said that the combat power is very different. 
especially in the seabed, if the tremor tremor fruit goes crazy, no one with the ability can escape. Who wouldn't be afraid of this? Garp. You, um. Where is Garp? Sengoku suddenly came to his senses and found out. War. Marshal Sengoku, Vice Admiral Garp said he would go back to the East China Sea for vacation, and this year's vacation will be taken early. The adjutant next to him was even more embarrassed. What? Garp, you fool. Zhang Guo was so angry that his nose was crooked. He ran away when he was needed at such a critical moment. However, something even more annoying came. Marshal Zhang Guo, it's bad, G7 base was attacked. It's the Whitebeard Pirates. What? Requesting support, G8 base was attacked by pirates, it's Diamond Joes, come to support. Flower Sword Vista appeared at G9 base. Hold on, I've asked Borsalino to support. Does Whitebeard want to start a war? Zanguo clenched his fists to suppress his anger. The water is so strong that it can be used as a weapon. Mermaid Karate Water Punch. Adolf was in the sea, punched out, and the shocking water cannon roared straight. Like a particle beam passing through, the sea surface gave way, forming a wave groove. The best is like water, the softest is hard. A drop of water can wear away a stone, water is so soft, its benefits are boundless, high pressure is beamed at one point, even the hardest steel can be penetrated. To some extent, this is already a molecular attack. Water molecule beam. Gulala. The kid is quite capable, so I should be a little more serious. Shock blade broken jade. A group of twisted white light energy condensed in the blade, and it suddenly slashed and split the atmosphere. The entire atmosphere in front of it shook, turning into a shattering impact that tore everything apart. Although it is invisible, it has a destructive power that is invisible to the naked eye. In other words, what is invisible to the naked eye is the real horror, because this has exceeded the level that the naked eye can see. The sea was shaken and huge waves were swept away, which truly showed the terrifying power of overturning the river and the sea. Boom. The two attacks seemed to cross the space and collided in vain. The air waves and water waves visible to the naked eye burst out from the collision, and the sea water was even pushed away by a hundred meters, forming a huge depression. Wallala. The impact and air waves immediately raised a tsunami several tens of meters high, sweeping towards the distance. The whole sea was surging. It was like a fist hitting the table to shake up the cup, and the whole sea surface was surging and splashing. The sea was like this, and the atmosphere was even more so, with violent winds and waves sweeping across the sky. Hold on to the boat quickly, don't get thrown out. What kind of monster is that guy? How can he take a blow from my father? How did he become a slave? Was he caught after a shipwreck? Idiot. I'm a mermaid. How could I have a shipwreck? That muir. Why didn't you tell me earlier about such a strong guy? Didn't I say it? I didn't know him before. On the Whitebeard Pirate's ship, everyone hugged the hull tightly, and some people were even thrown out because of carelessness. In this stormy sea, the Moby Dick seemed particularly small, and it was violently bumped and heaved in the waves. Ha ha ha. Whitebeard, Adolf rolled up the waves and was at the top of the waves, completely excited. He started as a slave in this world, and then he had been hiding himself. He could only fight with sea kings and practice with Hancock. He had never had such a passionate battle, and he vented all his strength. Gulala. Attack as much as you want. I haven't felt such a relaxed body for a long time, let me move well. Whitebeard laughed heroically and took the initiative to attack. Shock blade slash. The vibration force of the distorted atmosphere condensed on the blade, and it swung down vigorously, the atmosphere was slashed, and the sea was torn into a thousand meter rift, like a shocking slash of destruction. Mermaid Karate Sea Slashing Waves. A slash from the sea, as if the sea itself took action. One side of the sea split, and the other side of the sea fought back. Both have the terrifying power to tear the island apart. When the two collided, an unimaginable scene happened. A huge hole a thousand meters deep was instantly drained, revealing the seabed rock that was riddled with holes and shattered into powder. However, in the sky, it was like a sea pillar rising from an island in the sky stirring up a sea current that even penetrated the clouds. The water waves in the sky turned into heavy rain and fell, and the hole below formed a wave backflow. Mermaid Jutsu, Thousand Waves Island Collapse. 
Hands grasped the sea like a substance, the sea invisible tide, the armed colored tentacles became an extension of the limbs, and with all the strength, they spun around and threw out. However, the next moment, with the Moby Dick as the center, layers of huge waves swept towards the center and submerged. One wave was higher than another, from 10 meters at the beginning to even more than hundreds of meters later, and the sea within a radius of dozens of miles was boiling. Is this guy a devil fruit user? He can actually control the sea. You must be kidding. Can a mermaid do this? Even more exaggerated than that Jinbei guy. The tsunami is coming. Protect the ship quickly. Gulala, sons, hold on tight. Whitebeard couldn't help laughing. Shock tsunami. The ten fingers of both hands tore, and the atmosphere twisted visibly. In the next moment, the entire sea was like a circular staircase, presenting layers of staggered sea stairs, and the sea water. Straight up and down, the thousand-layer tsunami that was enough to shatter the island was also torn apart by this powerful force. Whitebeard. My two moves are okay, right? Adolf was not surprised at all. Instead, he rolled up a water column with his tail fin and attacked Whitebeard at close range. He looked a bit like Neja in the sea, the dragon king of the East China Sea, riding on the waves and rising on the water column. Sea Trident. Like Zeus holding thunder as a weapon, he also pulled out a trident made of seawater from the sea, with the armed color entwined and appearing azure, using the sea as a weapon. Is this a special ability of the mermaids? They can actually control the seawater. Whitebeard laughed, and became more optimistic about Adolf, while raising his naginata to block it. Boom boom. Single quote. At the moment of collision, the entire Moby Dick sank down, as if a 10,000-ton giant suddenly fell. The two collided, and Adolf and Edward Newgate looked at each other at close range. Grinning wildly, with an indescribable ambition. When the stalemate lasted for a breath or two and was about to sink the sea, Whitebeard suddenly pushed Adolf away with an incomparable monster-like distance, and the ship also floated up at once. It was not that Whitebeard could not bear it, but that he was standing on the Moby Dick, and the ship had to bear the force. If it exceeded the critical point, the ship would not be able to hold on. What a terrifying force, it is really a monster. Adolf suddenly felt an uncontrollable distance and flew backwards. He suddenly realized that it was not the Tremor Tremor fruit that made Whitebeard successful, but on the contrary, it was Whitebeard who made the Tremor Tremor fruit famous. If it were not for Whitebeard's powerful strength, even the vibration power of the Tremor Tremor fruit would only be like the East Sea Shock Wave fruit ability user, which would only shatter a ship, and it might even require direct contact. The vibration in the air only caused air waves, not the power to destroy the world. It can be considered as such. Can't Jinbei also catch the current and throw it over his shoulder? Adolf stopped his body, holding the armed seawater trident in both hands, picking up the seawater and swinging it, and a wave of tens of meters high suddenly rose. He is not as exaggerated as you. He is like the god of the sea. Whitebeard slashed with a knife and tore the waves apart. Adolf passed through the repelled waves and attacked again with the armed seawater trident in his hand. Ha 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 ha. Not bad, Poseidon, the ruler of the sea. Bang. Boom. Single quote. With every collision, the Moby Dick trembled. As the battle progressed, shocking cracks appeared on the hull, and countless wooden boards were torn apart by the waves like water cannons. Woohoo! Single quote. The sea was boiling, the waves were surging, the strong storm continued to rage, and the heavy rain was also falling like bullets. If an ordinary person were here, he would be blown to the sky by the storm, and killed by rain bullets, and his bones would be broken. It can be said that the entire sea has become an enemy, and the heaven and earth are against them. They may overturn the sea at any time, which makes people worry about how long they can hold on. This kid, his attacks are heavier each time, and his growth rate is really amazing. Whitebeard became more and more excited as he swung his naginata. It was as if he was beating a piece of pure gold, taking off the shell and revealing the bright light inside. Dad, you can't fight anymore. Our ship can't hold on. It's too unfair. The sea is not only his weapon, but also a barrier to protect him. The mermaids are too shameless. Then Muir, hold the boat steady. If I hadn't been at the helm, the boat would have flipped over. Gulala. It seems that the little brat can't fight anymore. Let me show you something good. Don't die. Whitebeard's arm veins bulged, and he cut it open with a monster-like force. 
Immediately afterwards, in addition to the twisting vibration ability on the Naganata, there was also black lightning entanglement and domineering entanglement. Domineering color entanglement. The sea was broken, and the water was condensed. Crack, crack, boom. The atmosphere shattered like glass, and golden streams of light surged out with the vibration. Among them, the figure flew away at dozens or hundreds of times the speed of sound, a shadow that could not be captured by the naked eye. Then, the sea was forced to separate like two legs, and the semicircular depression with a width of one kilometer stretched for hundreds of miles, almost to the end of the horizon. The huge waves of annihilation caused by the terrifying vibration and impact swept to both sides, which could completely submerge islands like the Kingdom of Dressrosa. In front of this blow, the islands became floating clouds. Ah. Dad. You won't kill him, will you? Hurry, hurry to rescue him. On the Moby Dick, everyone's eyes were about to pop out, and they became even more panicked. Whitebeard laughed heartily, Gulala. That kid won't die so easily. After Dad said that, they all felt relieved. As a strong man on the sea, he still has some control. The mermaids are really powerful in the sea. They can fight dad to this extent. I have never seen such a strong mermaid. Let him join our pirate group. If that guy attacked our ship from the beginning, it would be really troublesome. What? Attacking the ship? How despicable. Stupid, we are pirates, isn't it natural to be despicable? On the Moby Dick, the pirates discussed passionately. Seeing such a devastating battle, anyone would be excited. And their initial affection for Adolf has turned into respect for his strength. He he ha ha ha. Whitebeard, your blood is boiling. Let's move to an uninhabited island and continue. Huh. Hearing the voice, everyone turned their heads and looked. What? Adolf. He came back so soon. And he was unharmed. Everyone looked at Adolf in disbelief. He was unharmed by an attack that could destroy an island in one blow. Water of life. Pineapple-headed Marco thought instantly. Before this tube is used up, I'm locking blood. Adolf grinned and took out a test tube of tears of life. What? A whole test tube. So many, ten copies. No, at least twenty copies. Doesn't that mean it's worth twenty billion baileys? The is too despicable. The pirates were jealous and unwilling to give up. It was so enviable. Hey, Whitebeard is more than twice my age and several times bigger than me, why don't you cut off a section from the waist before fighting me? Adolf disagreed. In order to get this blood lock, he even told a ghost story to deceive the little girl's tears. After all, it's better to use it yourself. Just treat it as a relationship. In fact, he is also curious, wondering if Princess Mancheri's bath water has the same effect. Gulala. Sons, find an uninhabited island so that I can have a good fight with this kid. Whitebeard laughed heartily. But kid, this is not a joke. Just what I want. Adolf's blood burned and boiled completely, and power continued to surge out of his body, as if every cell was jumping. Yes, Whitebeard's strength could not be fully exerted on the ship. To put it bluntly, a ship is too fragile as a foothold, so you have to be careful. As long as the Moby Dick is destroyed, even if he is known as the strongest man in the world, he will have to drink seawater to his heart's content and wait for death. How many others can save him? Can Marco go into the sea? Joe's himself will be doomed. Only those who have not eaten the devil fruit, especially those of the fish man tribe, can rescue him. If he also goes into the sea and launches an attack in the sea, none of those who go into the sea to rescue will be able to escape. Even if he is stopped and someone rescues him to the surface of the sea to take a breath, what's wrong? There are no islands or footholds around, soaking in the sea is like a tiger waiting to be slaughtered, and it becomes a burden instead. And is it really difficult for him to destroy the ship? Aren't you anxious about the order to destroy Fishman Island issued by the world government? Marco was helpless. Of course I am anxious, I'm looking for a solution. Adolf clenched his fists, his face full of excitement and madness. Feeling the huge power constantly surging from his body, he has confirmed that long-term contact can gain the other party's talent. If a fierce battle occurs, the spirit will be completely if all are mobilized in unison, the efficiency will be accelerated. In addition, there is combat experience. With the same equipment and the same economy, novices and professional players are completely different levels, and they even died without seeing how they died. 
High-intensity combat not only gains combat experience, but also turns this talent into strength. Combat is the best exercise. Simple muscle training is not dangerous, but actual combat is. If you don't fight hard and are not serious, you can only be beaten on the head. Boom boom boom. The whole island is shaking constantly, and the earth has cracked into huge fractures that are thousands of meters long. Hundred meter high waves rise one after another, directly swallowing the waves in front, and continuously hitting the depths of the sea, even exposing the seabed thousands of meters outside the island. The sky is even more dark and cloudy, as if the end of the world is coming. What's more terrifying is the collision of countless dark red lightnings that surge and splash, thundering in this doomsday desperate situation. Isn't it just a tyrant? Who wouldn't be the same? Boom. Then, a figure flew backwards from the island, blasting the sea into a huge wave. But the next moment, it turned into a tornado and rushed back with a tsunami. That guy Adolf has been knocked back seven or eight times, right? He actually rushed back. What a luxury, one treatment costs one billion baileys. His strength is completely built up by baileys, so enviable. Dozens of miles away, the people on the Moby Dick desperately looked up and watched, but they could only see the constant collision of attack waves, and at the same time they had to face waves of tsunamis. And above the island, Phoenix Marco saw it more clearly at close range. Adolf did rely on the water of life to cheat and forcefully lock blood, but he was more durable each time, and the attacks he launched were heavier each time. Even made Whitebeard gasp and sweat. I couldn't help but notice that, this kid's strength is improving too fast. He is actually using his father as a whetstone. When the island almost completely sank into the sea, leaving only a foothold under Whitebeard's feet. The battle slowly ended. Adolf lay exhausted in the sea, letting the waves sweep him away, and he didn't know where he was drifting. Dad. Marco landed and stood beside Whitebeard. Marco, fighting him suddenly made me feel the limit of human beings. Whitebeard inserted his naginata into the ground, panting slightly, looking at the sea that was gradually returning to calm, and the dusk shining on the sea. When sailing in this sea, everyone must be in awe of the sea and nature. Even if it's me, Shaki, Roger and those guys, human power can't fight against this world after all. When the, king, of this sea appears, this awe becomes concrete. Whitebeard didn't laugh, but looked deeply into the depths of the sea. Dad. That guy Adolf. Marco was shocked. He didn't expect that his father would give Adolf such a high evaluation, calling him. King. This world belongs to the sea after all, and maybe it will belong to them in the future. Gu la la la. The future will definitely be very lively, that guy's ambition is about to overflow from the domineering color. Whitebeard couldn't help laughing. World government, you are in big trouble. The world is in chaos, and the world is in chaos. A word from a world noble can exert great power at the world conference. This is written by a world noble. The content is, for the friendly exchanges between the fishmen and mermaids and humans, I agree with the opinions of the signatories. In other words, if many people sign, this paper will give us more specific power. Whether it is to immigrate to the land, or to show the world that we have no ill will towards humans. Fishman Island Gore and Cord Square. Princess Odahime took out the precious document she got from the world nobles and shouted desperately to the people of the island. I know you are scared, it's okay, we will be fine, Fishman Island will definitely get through this difficult time. Please express your will to coexist with humans and your will to go to land together in the form of signatures. Princess Otohime shouted out all her inner feelings, and that strong emotion unconsciously resonated with others through her observation hockey. For ordinary people, this rendering is too strong, which invisibly affects their thoughts and values. After a pause, the densely packed people burst into unprecedented enthusiasm and responded to Princess Otohime's call. Princess Otohime. How many people do you think Fishman Island has? The box is not enough. Give us more orders, there are still many people who haven't been divided. In just a moment, the small signature box was full. Everyone. Princess Otohime was moved, and at the same time she felt the hope of salvation. Because of the support of everyone on the island. However, at this time, the noisy sound disappeared and spread strangely. Hem. Princess Otohime looked up feeling an inexplicable uneasiness. 
The crowd squeezed and forced a path, and no one dared to stand in front of him. It's Adolf, it's Adolf. And the eight slaves who escaped with him. On both sides of the road, the suppressed voices were full of fear, terror, anger, unwillingness, fear. No one dared to look at him. Adolf. Adolf. Princess Odahime saw it, her eyes suddenly became sharp, and she slapped out with a palm that was beyond everyone's expectation. However, Adolf reached out and grabbed her arm and lifted her up. He lowered his eyes and looked at her, Princess Odahime. You put Fishman Island in deep crisis, and you still have the face to come back. Soldiers, quickly capture him, the right minister of the seahorse mermaid shouted angrily. However, with a cold look from Adolf, several Fishman warriors froze in place, wilting as if they were dehydrated. Why do you want to do such a brutal and horrific act of killing the world's nobles? Princess Odahime remained fearless even when she was mentioned, and looked directly at Adolf and asked. Why? Because of you, our beloved Princess Otohime, because of all the beauty of the earthly world you mentioned. Adolf laughed with a hint of ridicule. If that's the case, it's even more outrageous. What good results can be brought by being an executioner? Will you feel happy? Princess Otohime scolded. Ha 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 ha. Will being captured and made a slave be happy? Princess Otohime. You told us about the beauty of the surface, with more sunshine, more air, forests, playgrounds, and countless things that Fishman Island doesn't have. Like those children, I yearn for everything you said. So I left Fishman Island alone and went to the surface, wanting to paint the beauty you talked about. Then I was captured. Because I am a mermaid, the slave auction starts at 1 million. Female mermaids can even go as high as 70 million. Do you know how many people in Fishman Island secretly went to the surface because of you? Do you know what happened to them when they were captured? Adolf couldn't help laughing, and his laughter was full of ridicule and anger. Suddenly, everyone in the square was speechless. The Sabayati Archipelago is just next to it, and pirates often go to Fishman Island to capture mermaids for auction. They know it. Parents of children who often listened to Princess Otohime's stories were even more nervous. They were afraid that their children would also sneak out and be captured and enslaved. And those fishmen who were rescued by the hero Fisher Tiger looked at the stage with great heaviness and clenched their fists tightly. It was a past that they could not bear to look back on. Among them, how many people were influenced by Princess Otohime and became curious about the outside world? You. Ask me why I killed the celestial dragons. Quote. If I didn't do that, and didn't threaten the celestial dragons, could I save myself? Or will you come to save me? Will you save those who were captured and turned into slaves? Dear Princess Otohime. Adolf's voice was full of anger, spreading throughout the square. It was an unavoidable question. However, such a question obviously could not get an answer, because it was impossible. I'm sorry that I didn't notice your feelings because of me. Your inner anger hurt my heart. Princess Otohime felt guilty, and her nose and tears flowed out, crying like a child. As if she really empathized with the pain of being a slave. As a royal family, you can still go out of Longwan City to visit the people's livelihood. This kind of thing is already very unusual. Quote. She actually shed tears for a mere commoner. She is undoubtedly a kind person. Many people were moved and pitied. They were just some lowly commoners. How could they make the noble royal family cry? But this is not feasible. Doing the same cruel thing to others will only spread hatred. I'm sorry. We are really to blame for not becoming a royal family that the people can rely on. Ah, woo woo woo. She cried and empathized with him, and at the same time persuaded him that this was wrong, and blamed herself for her incompetence. But, she was really incompetent. Adolf looked at Princess Otohime who was crying coldly and said in a deep voice, Can you really feel it? Empathy means that you have suffered our hardships, endured our difficulties, walked our paths, and suffered our sins. Have you experienced all of these? No, you don't have any of these. You don't know the despair of being a slave. Quote. Even if you feel it, can your tears wipe away the suffering of the victims? Can they bring back those who were tortured to death? No. Your tears are meaningless, they can't save anything, they will only make you look incompetent. Adolf was not soft-hearted at all, and he could not accept her tears that she claimed to empathize with. Like he said, can tears bring back the dead? Wow. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. 
The ruthless blow made Princess Odahime pale, covering her face with her hands, heartbroken. She cried with pear blossoms in the rain, which was pitiful. This was not her using her ability as a weapon, but tears of true powerlessness. Only children who cry get candy, and I don't know how many people are soft-hearted. But her emotional resonance could not affect Adolf, who was determined and mature, so these tears seemed particularly incompetent. The two of them were very close, and the two sides had a lot of difficulties. Adolf. Have you finished talking? Leave Fishman Island now. We still have to solve the problem you left behind. Neptune, the king of Fishman Island, said in a deep voice. He got the news when Adolf came back, and came with Jinbei, but he had not interrupted before. He also felt that Adolf's words made sense, and as a king, he had an unshirkable responsibility. Oh. How are you going to solve it? Adolf looked over in doubt. Rely on the handwritten documents of the world's nobles and the signatures of five million people in Fishman Island. Jinbei said. Hmm. Adolf was stunned, looking at the pile of signatures in the box beside him, he couldn't help but, ha 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 ha. What are you laughing at? Princess Otohime couldn't help asking with a mocking look. Asshole, do you know how many people across the country are working hard for your business? Jinbei was annoyed. Adolf took out a signature from a pile of signatures beside him. We obviously have the power to choose, but we believe the tricks of the celestial dragons to deceive children. I am convinced. Laughing. Neptune frowned. Impossible, this is what I saw the world nobles write when I went to Marihoa. Princess Otohime was firm. So you have been to Marihoa, then you also saw the slaves led by the celestial dragons, right? Why choose to turn a blind eye? Why don't you rescue those slaves? At least rescue our compatriots. You said you can feel the pain happening to us, you really feel the same way. Adolf's sarcasm is really ridiculous. Princess Otohime opened her mouth to refute, but she couldn't say a word. She was completely dumbfounded. Okay, Adolf. Fishman Island is indeed sorry for you, but you are not much better. Just tell me why you can't be trusted. Jinbei interrupted in a deep voice. Do you still need to ask why? Can those celestial dragons be trusted? Adolf asked back, and he kept silent, and couldn't say anything when he asked. If they are really sincere, they will not capture us as slaves after writing the documents. They will even let the original fish man and mermaid slaves go. This is the minimum attitude. Quote, exclamation mark quote. Princess Otohime was sluggish as if she had lost her soul. She lowered her head and her face could not be seen. Do you have any way to destroy the celestial dragons? You don't have any. After landing, five million compatriots were captured and turned into slaves. Princess Otohime, do you have any way? Or can Neptune turn the tide? What about you, Jinbei? What can you do if it really comes to that? Five million compatriots are wailing and enduring torture, what can you do? Desperately. Adolf looked at everyone one by one, but no one dared to look at him. They all lowered their heads and couldn't stand up straight. We shouldn't speculate on others with the greatest malice, but when it comes to the safety of all the people in the country, we must plan for the worst case scenario and there can't be any gambling involved. This is the responsibility of a king. Even if there is only a slight deviation, it may cause the life and death of tens of thousands of people. Who of you can bear it? As a Chinese citizen, the thoughts accumulated over thousands of years of history are engraved in our bones. Even a college student seems particularly mature and has a big picture view of the world. How can we trust those guys? Adolf is right, Princess Otohime is too idealistic. The fishmen of the sun pirates who had been enslaved by the celestial dragons gnashed their teeth and could understand Adolf particularly well. It's terrible, we almost all became slaves. With a population of 5 million, even if 1% didn't escape, that's 50,000 people. The truth, consequences, disaster, and slavery were all directly placed in front of everyone, making it impossible for them to feel any relief, and making everyone furious. In the square, millions of people sided with Adolf. Who dares to gamble with their own lives on the morality of others, especially when this person is a celestial dragon? If it's like this in the seabed, won't they be caught in one fell swoop after landing? Adolf. Hody Jones, who had trained himself in the army, looked deeply at Adolf. The fact that he killed a celestial dragon made him particularly admire him. 
And now I have another understanding. What are you going to do about this? If it is not resolved, Fishman Island will be destroyed. We will also be hunted down by the world government until we are extinct. Jinbei said solemnly. Adolf's mouth curled up slightly, it's easy to solve. Since they are going to do it, let them attack us and destroy Fishman Island. What? Everyone was shocked. But, Adolf's eyes became fierce and cruel, the world government will also face our revenge. Came to the center and faced the crowd, everyone, what are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Leave Fishman Island. Can't we survive? No. The whole ocean is our world, our playground. We can live anywhere, can they still destroy the whole ocean? We are the darlings of the sea and the natural fantasy beasts. We are the fantasy tribe that controls the right to navigate the sea. We have the right to dominate the sea. Adolf raised his arms, his passion surged, and his strong emotions drove everyone present. He didn't have the ability of Princess Otohime, but language was powerful, and he used speeches to convey his thoughts and will. Yes, they are a race that lives in the sea, why should they be afraid? Why should we be afraid? Because of Fishman Island. When did Fishman Island become our spiritual bondage? We live and work here peacefully, they should be thankful, but they dare to treat us as fish. Capture us as slaves at will. How dare they? Who gave them the courage? If they dare to come, let them all sink into the sea. Let all the warships in the entire sea sink. Let them regret for the rest of their lives, regret being enemies with our clan. Can they still stop us from attacking from under the sea? Can they stop it? Can they find it? They are the ones who should be afraid. They are the ones who should be afraid. Stand up, my compatriots. Adolf raised his will, poured all his emotions and strength into his words, and shouted from the heart. And this is also his most sincere thought. How dare those people? They are the sea people. In this world, 99% of the sea, except for the red soil continent, only 1% of the islands and land, how dare those people do this to them? Even if the high-end combat power is not comparable, can you equip each of your warships with a vice admiral who is proficient in observation hockey? What about the four seas? I will not untangle, but only poke the ship, which can completely cut off the connection between various places. Can you still maintain your position? Will your subordinates listen to you? They have five million people. How dare you break up the hole into pieces and scatter the entire sea? Boom. As he spoke passionately, dark clouds rolled in the sky, dark red and black thunder flashed from his body, and an invisible oppression filled the sky over the entire Fishman Island. Only that man seemed more powerful and full of aura. As if the center of the world. This is. The spirit of the king heroic hockey. How is it possible? Jinbei was shocked and unbelievable. Countless people were stunned and shocked, and they were also more excited and fanatical, looking at the man on the stage with great yearning, who was full of confidence in his hands and feet. We are the legendary elves, the darlings of the sea, and the natural fantasy beasts. We don't have to envy the people on the ground for having sunlight and air, because we can go to land by ourselves. No one's permission is needed. No one's consent is needed. Let us be our own sun, without relying on anyone's light. Raising fists and shouting, with high morale, they shouted the last cry. Adolf. 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 The whole Fishman Island was boiling with enthusiasm, raising arms and fists and shouting, responding heartbreakingly, and their hearts were burning. They repeated the sentence, become your own sun, without relying on anyone's light. Given them infinite power, they are fearless at this moment. Countless voices gathered, shouting and breaking through the clouds, resounding throughout the Fishman Island. Why are they afraid? They are the masters of the sea. They want to be their own son. The old man was sitting on the ground, and the old man was lying on the ground. Old people, children, and women should go back and pack their bags now, and be ready to leave Fishman Island at any time. The rest of my compatriots who are willing to fight with me and defend the freedom and dignity of my people should stay. However, after waiting for a while, no one left, as if they didn't hear it. Adolf glanced around and repeated again, Old people, children, women, dot you can go back and pack your bags now. However, the people around looked around, and still no one left. Instead, someone stood up and spoke up. Boss Adolf, we female mermaids are the ones who are the most enslaved. How can you only let you fight and bleed? That's right, 
don't treat us as your own people, Boss Adolf. If we can't go to the battlefield, at least we can do some logistics and rescue work. One by one, the legendary mermaids stood up. They mustered up their courage and devoted themselves to the collective will to fight for their own survival. What little fairies wishing, that's because the living environment is too good. Not to mention that in this environment where you may be captured and made a slave at any time, even Lao Mi can teach you how to be a man. Stupid little Pukchi, you should go back when you are so young, let your uncle protect you. Old people, children and women should go back. The battlefield is the battlefield for us men. It's not your turn to appear before we are all dead. Don't underestimate us women, be careful that we will beat you up. Adolf's speech with high morale and full of emotions resonated with everyone, ignited confidence and passion, and a certain will was awakened. Regardless of gender, age, or physical strength, they are still fearless even in the face of difficulties and obstacles. Because this is a fight for themselves. You. Neptune couldn't believe that so many people would join without hesitation, even the weak mermaid women, those children. Ha 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 ha. You are not hopeless idiots. Since you want to join, then come together. Adolf couldn't help laughing. With so many followers, how could he not be happy? Maybe not everyone thinks so. There are more people who are swept up in the atmosphere and join the collective will together. Humans are collective creatures. You definitely don't dare to run naked alone, but if everyone takes off their clothes and walks on the street, what's embarrassing? Wearing clothes becomes an alternative. Adolf. Do you know how many people will die like this? Don't make any more mistakes. Princess Otohime couldn't help but worry. She is undoubtedly the representative of the peace faction's saint, but she can't be considered a saint. Because she really dared to sacrifice herself, instead of just letting others pay. But this weak way will not work in the cannibalistic pirate world. Princess Otohime, you are wrong. The crisis of Fishman Island did start with Adolf but it is also a problem that our Fishman Island has always faced. Even if we don't go out, we will still be captured and enslaved by the passing ships. We have been escaping in the past, even if our relatives were captured, we could only be turtles, but now it is time to avoid it. Princess Otohime, you are a royal family, with so many warriors protecting you, how can you understand our fear? Before Adolf spoke, countless people spontaneously stood up to refute. The inner belief was ignited, burning like a raging fire, and the extremely firm will was not so easy to change, especially after Adolf pointed it out. What's more, now even she herself is not confident, self-condemning and guilty. It should have been like this a long time ago. As a sea race, why should we be afraid of those guys who can't even breathe under the sea? That's right. We, the fishmen, are naturally ten times stronger than humans. We can also survive in the sea. Why should we be afraid of them? We, the mermaids, swim the fastest in the sea and can come and go freely. Why should we let them do whatever they want in the sea? The royal family was too weak before, which allowed those humans to go too far. Brother Adolf, we will always follow you. The more I think about it, the angrier I get. The more I talk, the more annoyed I get. They clearly have such an obvious advantage in strength. What are they afraid of? Is it because the human group is large? Or is it because the Fishman Island will be destroyed? Maybe they will be hunted down. But if they can't show strong determination, won't they be captured and enslaved? Look at their current living environment. Even in this situation, they still shout to understand and actively approach humans. What a joke. Princess Otohime. Ni. Putan. For this world, you are not cruel and can think about the people, which makes you a good king. But if you want to change the living environment of Fishman Island, that is far from enough. I will teach you a lesson now. Adolf took a deep breath, and roared with a ferocious face. What you can't get on the battlefield, do you want to get it with your mouth? Peace is not a gift from God. Without the strong power to curb war, peace is just a beautiful fantasy. Only the peace we control is our peace. We just want to tell those guys that the attack and defense are interchangeable. If the enemy can go, I can go too. Quote. As a member of the Yanwang nation, he knows that praying for world peace is useless. Only when the motherland is strong, the world will naturally be peaceful for you, and everyone will smile at you. It is true that they are not strong enough now, but they also have the ability to burn jade and stone together. 
This is the power of peace, which must be rewarded by others. Once a great man used the tactics of exchanging homes to make the two major powers retreat. At that time, the country had just been established and its nuclear power was not as strong as the other side, but it was such a determination to burn jade and stone together that forced the other side to give up a war of annihilation and forced another superpower to retreat. This is peace. Adolf. Brother Adolf. Quote. Everyone screamed out heart-wrenchingly, their voices filled with enthusiasm and passion, their faces flushed with blood. Even the delicate female mermaids went crazy and shouted together. If the enemy can go, I can go too, this is what they have always hoped for. At this moment, everyone shared the same hatred. They have been oppressed for too long, for 800 years. Become the king, we need you Adolf. Become the king and let us. Become the king, become the king of this sea. Fanatical shouting, collective madness that almost lost their minds, they need such a king too much. Bring them peace, freedom, security, confidence, and dignity. Adolf. Does he represent the will of the entire Fishman Island? Is this what the people really want? Jinbei widened his eyes in shock, it was hard to imagine that even such a slogan was shouted out. Actually. Am I so unqualified? Neptune panicked, got scared, and retreated. He never thought that things would turn out like this, with five million people collectively expecting another person to replace him and become king. Why choose war? Why? Princess Otohime couldn't understand, staring blankly at the boiling crowd in front of her, looking at Adolf. She had been chasing after autographs one by one, but now everyone agreed so much that they were willing to start a war even at the cost of their lives. Was she really wrong? But war is wrong. Many people will die, it will bring pain and tragedy, and it will pass on hatred to the next generation. The two of them were very happy. Adolf looked around and raised his hand, and the whole audience fell silent. He admitted that he did want to get the entire Fishman Island. If you want to do something, you need manpower, not to mention the establishment of a unified empire. Then Fishman Island cannot be let go, not to mention that there is a big beauty like Poseidon Shirahoshi, who can have the satisfaction of sitting on the mountain even if she lies in the ravine. It's just that he originally planned to do it after Kaido's teaching and have substantial achievements. But he never expected things to turn out like this. As Adolf raised his hand, the whole audience fell silent, and looked at him with burning eyes. And Adolf also looked at Neptune. Single quote, exclamation mark exclamation mark. Neptune's heart throbbed, his eyebrows twitched, and he was sweating profusely. Alexander. Quote exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. Princess Otohime wanted to stop it, but found that she could do nothing. At this point, it was useless to do anything. Because this was no longer the will of a few of them, but the choice of five million people on the entire Fishman Island. The left and right ministers, Jinpei and others were even more stunned. This change was too fast. Single quote dot 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 exclamation mark. Neptune held his breath and stared at each other for three or two seconds, and finally lowered his noble head and took off the crown. I am indeed not a qualified king, Adolf, I hope you can really do it. King Adolf. King Adolf. King Adolf. No matter where they were, no matter whether they were old or young, male or female, they were all excited at this moment, shouting with excitement. Even the quietest mermaids forgot their reserve. The weakest men were aroused, and the old men forgot their years, their bodies filled with faith in the rising sun. They didn't know what they would become in the future, but they knew that if they didn't fight for themselves, they would be bullied forever and deserve to be enslaved. Jaahaha. Adolf. King Adolf. This is what the king of Fishman Island should look like. Hody Jones laughed wildly, and just this once, he deeply worshipped him and became his most loyal follower. However, amid the cheers of millions of people in the square, his laughter seemed less noticeable. Now that we have become kings, we make a three-year agreement here. Adolf raised his arms and made a firm oath. I promise that we will land on land within three years, without anyone's permission or consent. We will be our own masters. Oh 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 oh, there is no doubt that the whole audience cheered, they needed such expectations too much. It's not because of landing on land, but because of what they decide to do. Adolf gave them hope and confidence, and condensed the seeds of self-reliance. Turning to look at the former king, Neptune, how many troops are there on Fishman Island? Ah, 
Neptune was sweating, there should be 700, not 800. The right minister said, 1,000 sea king soldiers, all top-notch masters, and 2,000 nautilus warriors are responsible for the security of Fishman Island. Adolf was no longer interested in complaining, and raised the huge crown in one hand to give orders. From now on, the whole island is on war alert. Recruit 100,000 soldiers, requiring both arms to lift 30 tons of weight for 10 seconds. The rest of the people pack their luggage as a family unit and be ready to leave at any time Murloc Island. Remember, no matter what happened, you can't abandon his family. That's all, you don't have to be the right minister. Murloc Island is in a huge change, no incompetent generation is required. Minister, I want you to manage the entire Murloc Island, and do not allow any confusion. Quick, prepare for me 130 ton stones, no, 1000. Exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark. Quote. Everyone line up, anyone who dares to cut in line will be disqualified. The ministers on both sides acted quickly. In this world, it is normal for an adult to lift one ton, and three tons is considered strong. The arm strength of the fishmen is ten times stronger than that of humans, so thirty tons is not particularly exaggerated. Among them, fishermen who make a living by fishing often fight with sea kings, to escape, and their strength far exceeds 30 tons. Otahime. Neptune huddled in the corner with his tail in his arms, looking at the people who were enthusiastically signing up in the distance. Neptune, did I do something wrong? Princess Otahime looked at this scene with a complicated expression. Adolf had obviously put Fishman Island in crisis, but he was supported by everyone. Many people noticed them, but they all avoided him. They were not disgusted, but despised him. He actually led Fishman Island to such a miserable life for 800 years. How many people were enslaved and killed in these 800 years? Maybe we are all wrong. Neptune felt more and more uncomfortable. There was a sense of shame for his ancestors, and a sense of sadness that his ancestors had let him down. Obviously, they had always been like this. We can't rely on others, but we have to rely on ourselves. Jinbei looked at the crowd, and his heart was open. King Neptune, Princess Otahime, I began to understand Adolf and everyone. The road ahead may be bumpy, but through our own efforts, it must be bright and broad. Neptune, take me to the Dragon King's palace. Adolf came over. Neptune hesitated a little, but still agreed, okay, I'll take you there. Quote. Jinbei, come along. They flew up into the sky with the help of coral bubbles, and Adolf flew up with bubbles in his hands. It's not that mermaids can't walk on land with their tail fins, but it's really inconvenient for mermaids to move, and they have to rely on bubbles to help them. What are you going to do to King Neptune and the others? Jinbei looked at Adolf beside him. Neptune also lowered his eyes. His huge body was originally full of oppression, but now he was uneasy. I won't kill you, but I will definitely move out of Ryugu Castle. I can allow you to build a small residence at the junction of Ryugu Castle and Fishman Island. Neptune felt a little relieved, at least his family would be free of worries. In addition, I really hope that you can serve in the army and continue to shine for Fishman Island. As for Otahime, after changing your mind and understanding what self-reliance means, you can consider taking on the work of national ideological education. Adolf thought. Although Princess Otahime has some ideological problems, she is naturally friendly, and with her observation hockey, she is considered a rare talent. What can he do? He is also helpless. There are only these few things in the entire Fishman Island, and he can only pick and choose to cultivate them. I feel a little bit of the feeling that the ancient emperors had to compromise with the nobles. What do you think of humans? Do you want to break with humans completely? Otahime couldn't help asking. There has never been such a thing as breaking up. We express goodwill to any race, country, or even individual, those who are willing to make friends with us, whether they are humans or any other race, can become our friends. But those who bully, oppress, hostile, and hurt us are enemies, this is our position. Princess Otahime, your biggest problem is that you put your hopes on others, and you don't understand what self-improvement means. Especially when this person is a celestial dragon, it seems particularly stupid. Quote. Adolf was not shy about it, he said stupidity was just a courtesy. Didn't you see how Shirahoshi and the others were treated in Marihoa? 
if it wasn't for the plot, and it unfolded like a joke, could they have returned to the sea? I'm afraid it will become a RBQ and people will play with it to death. The two of them were very close, and the two of them were very close. Bad guy, don't say that about my mother. The delicate and coquettish little girl came out. Single quote dot 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 question mark question mark. Adolf stopped and looked. It was just a six-year-old little Shirahoshi. She was pink, tender, and weak like a little pudding. She didn't feel aggressive at all when she was angry. Even with this height, she was more than twice his 2.8 meters at the age of six. The mermaids have tails longer than human legs, which makes them look more slender. Shirahoshi. My little angel. Otahime hugged her. She also wanted to comfort her strength now. She had suffered too many blows in one day. Mother. Shirahoshi looked at Otahime who was holding her tail with concern. If Shirahoshi hadn't summoned the Sea Kings and displayed the legendary power of Poseidon, she might not have had the courage to go to Marihoa with the celestial dragons. But without a strong heart, even if you have the power to destroy the world, you can't protect anything. Mother, father, the three princes of Shark Star, Emperor Star, and Flip Star came over. Shark Star, father is no longer the king. Neptune was embarrassed. What happened? Boss Jinbei. The third prince was shocked and turned to look at Jinbei. This is what Jinbei felt embarrassed about, and it's hard to explain. This is the will of the five million people on the island. They chose Adolf to be the king of Fishman Island. Neptune still took the initiative to speak. What? But it's only been a while. The third prince was completely confused. Didn't they remember that it was just, two hours? When was Princess Otohime's voting event not half a day or a day? In these two hours, even the throne is gone. Too fast. Mother. Shirahoshi also looked at Adolf stupidly. In short, your father and mother are too weak to lead Fishman Island to become stronger, so I will take over the position of the king of Fishman Island. Adolf was straightforward. Anyway, it was not his shame. Weak. Shark Star frowned, his eyes filled with anger. Father defeated the pirates to protect Fishman Island, and mother bravely conveyed our wishes to humans. They are not weak at all. What did you do? Forced everyone on the island to threaten father and mother. The three brothers also did not believe it, but became alert. Neptune scratched his face after hearing it, and his face was a little hot. Otahime also shook her head. Shark Star, Emperor Star, Flip Star, Shirahoshi. Maybe we are not suitable to be kings. Mother. If you have any doubts, then follow and watch with doubt, but don't hinder me from doing things. Adolf ignored these three crooked melons and cracked dates and continued to go deep into Ryugu City. Neptune, tell me how much cash is in the treasury, what special items are there, such as devil fruits, famous swords, sea stone, etc., how many weapons can be equipped in the armory. How many explosives and shells? How many sea beasts have been tamed? How many weapons can be produced in a day when entering a state of war? What is the tax revenue of Fishman Island? What is the source of the national economy? Does food cultivation guarantee the daily needs of the people? How many soldiers can the stored food provide? In addition, the population issue, how many male mermaids, female mermaids, how many male fishmen, female fishmen? And how many strong people are there in Fishman Island? How strong are they? Do they have a criminal record? Do you know their current address? Finally, the question of Fishman Street, how many people are there in Fishman Street? Who is their current boss? A series of questions directly made Neptune dumbfounded. Ah, uh, this, that. Sweat was pouring down his forehead, and he stuttered. Adolf stopped and looked at Neptune. I need to learn more about the comprehensive information of Fishman Island and master it as quickly as possible in order to cope with all the challenges that come next. This is not the tension of an elementary school student who knows nothing about anything, but a sense of shame and responsibility. At this moment, Neptune realized that he was too incompetent. If this happened in the square, it would be a public execution, and he was sweating profusely. These are all the responsibility of the minister of the left. Neptune felt guilty, and he doubted that the minister of the left could not know so much in detail. Jinbei was speechless. The feeling that he had originally felt sorry for Neptune was gone. Adolf's forehead was bulging with veins. Quote question mark question mark. In other words, you can't answer anything except taking me to the Dragon Palace for sightseeing and seeing your four children. 
Neptune shrank his head and felt more and more guilty. The 18-meter tall man was too humble. Fishman Street. I can help you suppress them. What do you want to do? Jinbei said, helping Neptune relieve the pressure. Of course, recruit them and integrate them into Fishman Island. Some garbage will be cleaned up directly. Adolf said. Integrate into Fishman Island. Jinbei was surprised. Fishman Street is where illegal groups gather. If those people enter Fishman Island, there will be serious security problems. Shark Star frowned. Although he was young, he still had some understanding of the situation in the kingdom, even if it was just a rumor. Fishman Street was originally a large place to take in orphans. Later, it became like that because of the incompetence of the managers. Quote. But why are there so many orphans? Have you ever thought about it? Some of them have their parents and relatives killed, but are all the fishmen in Fishman Street. Grandparents are also dead. Those rubbish who gave birth to children and abandoned them. They can be considered murderers. Even if they messed up Fishman Island, it's their own fault. Quote. Besides, those guys in Fishman Street are more courageous than you, but they just lack the methods to change Fishman Island and the correct ideological armament. Adolf's eyes swept over Otahime and Neptune again, causing them to lower their heads without saying a word. As the royal family, they have an unshirkable responsibility for the situation on Fishman Island. Not pointing it out in front of the children has given them face. And the words, giving birth but not raising is equivalent to killing, also made the shark stars and others silent. Adolf. I thank you on behalf of everyone in Fishman Street. Jinbei bowed his head and thanked him solemnly. No need, this is the king's responsibility. Adolf turned and left the Dragon King's palace. Let Otahime and Neptune lower their heads again and quickly catch up. Even the third prince of Shark Star and Shirahoshi followed. Mother, I often receive this these days. Shirahoshi took out a note. What is this? Otahime was stunned when she opened it. Love letter. But Shirahoshi is only six years old. Love letter. Where did it come from? Neptune was nervous. It was fine if he lost his throne, but he also lost his daughter. I don't know. No matter where I am, I will fly here by myself every day. Shirahoshi answered honestly. Fly here by myself. Others were puzzled. Adolf frowned. Target target fruit. That is to say, the secret of Sea King Shirahoshi has been known by several people. It's really troublesome. The old man was so angry that he was beaten. Who's going to catch him? He took so much money from me. Hey, get out of here. I have a gun. I have hostages, don't come close. Asshole, this happened just when Fishman Island saw hope. Kill him with me. Don't be afraid, let's go together. A fishman boss, a fishman robber, a fishman hostage, and a group of passionate people. Simple and clear relationship. However, when a group of people were about to pounce on the robber and tear him into pieces, a thin figure rushed out first and slapped him. Ah, that's even more outrageous. Will a child raised with stolen money be happy? Otahime grabbed his collar and slapped him wildly. Parents can't live a spineless life in front of their children. But I also want to apologize to you. Otahime's tears suddenly fell again. I'm sorry, I don't understand your feelings even though we are from the same country. Your inner pain also hurts my heart. Ah, you have your own difficulties. Otahime's innate observation hockey is not to hear other people's inner thoughts, but to feel other people's inner emotions. That sadness, despair, pain, and desperate torment. Mother. The third prince of Shark Star and Shirahoshi were moved. This is their gentle and kind mother, always fighting for a better future. Are you okay? Adolf warmly helped Miss Mermaid up. Well, thank you. Thank you. Miss Mermaid blushed and looked at him with admiration. Adolf nodded and looked at Otahime, feeling a little overwhelmed. How could he talk about integrity when his children were starving to death? If that were the case, what would his responsibility as a father be? Would he watch his children starve to death? Really? Why not eat meat instead of meat? The Sea King army, who came upon hearing the noise, tied him up. Wait. What should be done according to the laws of Fishman Island? Adolf called out. Lock him for a month. Otahime said. Will his ten children still be alive after a month? Adolf asked her. Not to mention a month, even three days would be a problem. No wonder the problem in Fishman Street is so serious, this way of dealing with it won't work. Adolf sighed 
before looking forward to the future, you should live well in the present. What future can you talk about when you can't even handle the basic livelihood? The detention will be postponed in advance, and it will be carried out after the children's survival issues are settled. Everyone else, go away, you come with us to Fishman Street. Thank you very much, King Adolf. The robber fishman knelt down in gratitude. Fishman Street. Hody noticed and volunteered, my lord king, I am also from Fishman Street. I know a lot of people there. Let me go with you. Well, let's go together. Adolf nodded, and the group continued to go to Fishman Street. King Adolf is really a good king. He actually cares about people's livelihood. Yes, if they are really arrested and imprisoned for a month, the ten children will be dead. The future that Princess Otohime talked about is not only illusory and full of risks, but also completely disregards the lives of the people. That's right, King Adolf is still the best. After Adolf and others left, the onlookers praised. Otohime, according to your way of handling it, ten children will die. Is this what you expect for the children? Is this the decent life you hope to see? When there were no other citizens on the road, Adolf corrected Otohime's thoughts. I'm sorry, I'm really not a qualified royal family. Otohime was extremely disappointed. You are a pure idealist, so idealistic that you are out of touch with reality. From the perspective of an ordinary person, losing your royal status this time is also a kind of experience for you. Feel the suffering of the world. Adolf still has high hopes. After all, the one he hoped for was Shirahoshi's mother. He would definitely build a good relationship with their family, and cultivate them if possible, rather than fight them to the death. I'm sorry, because I'm a rubbish. The robber fishman was ashamed. It has nothing to do with you. You took risks for your family when you were desperate. You are also a hero in your children's eyes. But crime is crime, don't think about escaping the criminal law. Adolf highly recognized his original intention. I will serve my sentence obediently if you can solve the settlement problem of my children. I'd rather die. The robber fishman was moved. You didn't hurt anyone, how could I let you die? Just imprison you according to the criminal law. Adolf smiled, which made him completely heartbroken. Shark Star, Emperor Star, Flip Star, and Shirahoshi followed silently without saying anything, but their attention was all on Adolf, and they also got to know him better. It seems that he is a little different from what they thought, and he is not a big bad guy who forced his father, the king, and the queen to abdicate. Ah, it's bad, Fishman Island. Fishman Island will be destroyed. Hurry, tell King Adolf. A mermaid woman with a shark tail fin held her head, her cold blue eyes showing pain. It's Madame Shirley. Madame Shirley, what did you see? It's okay, Madame Shirley. Even if Fishman Island is destroyed, King Adolf will definitely lead us to open up a new home. One after another, kind-hearted people came to comfort and help. Now they are full of confidence in the future. Even in difficult times, they have seen the light that belongs to them. Hurry up, King Adolf is coming. Adolf and his group came over, and the crowd automatically made way. It's Madame Shirley. I have heard about her in Ryugu Castle. When she was young, she predicted the coming of the Great Pirate Era. Then two years later, Roger was executed, and many pirates came to the island. Neptune whispered. Adolf nodded, stepped forward to help her up, and his gentle words were filled with an extremely firm tone. For more than 800 years, Fishman Island has experienced the heaviest oppression and the most tormenting pain. This is the darkest and longest night in all of our hearts. It's so long that all of us have taken it for granted and obeyed it. If the price of awakening the people is the destruction of Fishman Island, then Fishman Island should sink to the bottom of the sea. I firmly believe that we will be reborn. Sacrifice, courage, determination, and words without a trace of confusion are inspiring. King Adolf, we support you. You're right, we can't take others' oppression of us for granted. Cheering and shouting, the whole nation supports, as if breaking through the inner cage and awakening. You will stay with me in the future, I need your strength. Adolf looked at Mrs. Shali. Madam is a respectful title for her, a respect for divination of the future and mystery, not a meaning of being married. But what I foresee is an unfortunate future. Mrs. Shaw Lee hesitated. Then why don't we change the unfortunate future together? At least save more people before it happens. Adolf smiled gently. Hem. 
Hem. Lady Shirley looked at his face, the dignity of a king seemed to be glowing, and she lowered her head and nodded slightly with a little embarrassment. Adolf took her hand and took her away. Lady Shirley is now 19, and her huge size is already invincible, coupled with snow-white skin, purple nails, and the cold and fierceness of a shark-like mermaid, it's amazing. In terms of ability, divination of the future plus observation hockey, he is looking forward to how many bugs there will be. The old man was in a hurry to get out of the house. Fishman Street, behind Fishman Island, has no bubbles and no air, it is dilapidated and rotten, the slums of Fishman Island, and a lawless area without law. Who would have thought that it would be an orphanage before this? It's so dark. Shirahoshi hid behind Otohime in fear. It's really a scary place. The three brothers of Shark Star were nervous and cautious. You were born at the top of Fishman Island, enjoying the best light and environment, and this is the darkest and most dilapidated place in Fishman Island. Adolf said calmly. Did Aaron grow up in such a place? Sha Li looked all the way. King Adolf, I know some people here. Let me call them out. Hodi and Jinbei took the initiative to speak. No, it's easier to reason with a direct display of force in a place like this. Adolf raised his hand to stop him. Then he came to the top of Fishman Street and looked down at the entire dilapidated and dark place. Mermaid Jutsu Undersea Whirlpool. Hands seemed to grab the invisible sea water as if it were real, and the armed color domineering turned into tentacles extending to the sea water. Just like that, he suddenly pulled and swung, and the seabed surged, and a huge whirlpool stirred the entire fishman street. This. What a big scale. Neptune and others were surprised. As expected of the holder of the domineering color. Jinbei was calm. It just made them wonder, was there really such a strong person on Fishman Island before? Such a strong person was caught by human traffickers and auctioned. But he is here now, and seeing it with his own eyes is the fact, and there is no point in having more doubts. Wa la la. As the whirlpool on the seabed rolled, the broken wooden houses, silt and gravel were all rolled up like a tornado, giving the invisible water a shape and outline, and the huge scene was particularly spectacular. I don't know how many fishmen hiding in the dark were forcibly brought out and swam desperately to escape from the stirring whirlpool. Hey, what's going on? Why is there such a whirlpool here? My house is destroyed. Look, there are people up there. It's King Neptune. And Boss Jinbei is there too. Finally, someone noticed the abnormality in the sky, the huge mermaid Neptune. Adolf went down and came into their field of vision, and was recognized at once. He is. Adolf with a bounty of one billion belly. The hero who killed the celestial dragons. Look, it's really him. Fishman Island is just below Marihoa. It is the race closest to the celestial dragons and the race that hides the deepest. The tiger incident also occurred there. If you have a deep hatred for the celestial dragons, then you have endless gratitude and longing for Adolf. Jinbei, Hodi, and even Neptune came behind him, as if to express something. Adolf's eyes were cold and full of majesty. His eyes were full of domineering color, and dark red and black lightning flashed, full of terror and power, as if he came from destruction, shocking everyone. If it weren't for the control, I'm afraid all the fishmen in the entire fishman street would have been stunned. Even Jinbei was shocked. My name is Adolf, the mermaid who killed the celestial dragons, and now the king of Fishman Island. I will lead my fellow Fishman Islanders to strive for self-improvement and resist those who oppress and enslave us, even the celestial dragons. We are a race that lives in the sea, and we should be free to swim in the sea that belongs to us. My fellow Fishman Islanders who are willing to follow me and integrate into Fishman Island, come to me. The majestic and domineering words echoed in the seabed, making all the fishmen excited and shouting his name with their arms raised high. Really? Can we really go back to Fishman Island? Ha 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 ha, we can finally resist those garbage. King Adolf, let us. Who doesn't want to fight back after being beaten? It can be said that this race has accumulated 800 years of unwillingness and humiliation. As long as I didn't kill my fellow countrymen and love my race and country, anyone can go back to Fishman Island. Adolf raised his arms and said affirmatively. The pattern is open, everyone is treated equally, and they don't care about their origins in Fishman Street or their character. Do they want to be bad? Do they want to be vicious? Who doesn't want to be born into the royal family and enjoy everything? 
the king of Fishman Island. Ha 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 ha, just a mermaid slave. Even if you kill the celestial dragon, it's just luck. I don't recognize a king like you. Suddenly several fishmen came rampantly. It's Macro, Garo, Tans and others. Quote. The scum who captured mermaids and sold them to the human traffickers. Everyone glared at them, and they were recognized at once. Capture mermaids. Sell them to human traffickers. Adolf narrowed his eyes slightly and a hint of murderous intent flashed across his face. Then the three people's hands and feet were separated, and blood gushed out. What? What happened? The three human traffickers didn't even have time to react, and they were G just after they appeared. Who can tell them what happened? What happened? They just said one line. Wait until I solve the matter of Fishman Island, then I will deal with you garbage. Take out a healing dandelion, crush it, mix it with sea water and drop it on the wound of the human pig to stop the bleeding. It would be a relief to die now. Everyone, if you are willing to follow me, come with me. Adolf said as he swam overseas. Countless people turned into long dragons and followed behind. The total number was more than 10,000, which was almost all of the Fishman Street. With so many people, they did not return to the island directly, but to find food. Mining kelp in large areas, slaughtering thousand-meter sea kings, taming a large number of sea beasts. Mermaids mainly feed on various seaweeds, oysters, shellfish, and fruits in the sea. They do not eat meat and can communicate with ordinary fish. In addition to these, fishmen also eat meat, such as sea beasts and sea kings. However Fishman Island has only 5 million people, and the rest of the island is too lazy to count. It can be said that it has endless marine resources. It is not rich, but endless. You can never eat it all, and you can never waste it all. There are even countless sunken ships and seabed minerals, which allow everyone in the entire Fishman Island to live a royal life. But the reality is that in the dilapidated Fishman Street, some people are so hungry that they rob. Adolf felt it was absurd, it was really outrageous, okay. Fishman for 800 years, every royal family member on the island is a waste, including Neptune and Otohime. With a natural arm strength ten times stronger than that of humans, the ability to survive in the sea, and such abundant natural resources, more than 99% of the sea area. It is no exaggeration to say that the throne and the leading breeding pigs can become the only dominant race in the world. The result is this. To end up like this. The battle was a battle, and the battle was a battle. First he contacted Whitebeard, and now he has become the king of Fishman Island and gained the support of the entire Fishman Island. All signs show that this Adolf is very unusual. If he is really allowed to break up and scatter across the sea, it will directly threaten the rule of the world government. Even if this war is won and Fishman Island is destroyed, we will lose in the end. Marshal Sengoku came to the Holy Land Marihoa, feeling very bad, and his expression was extremely heavy. A few days ago, you published an announcement in the newspaper to destroy Fishman Island. Are you asking the world government to back off now? Sengoku. The god of environment had no expression on his face. Compromising because of a speech, where is the face of the world government in the world? Where is the dignity? The god of law said coldly. This guy is very skillful and has ideas, but so what? He actually wants to lead a group of fish to fight against the world government. He is overestimating his own capabilities. The god of science defense disagreed. Sengoku suppressed his anger and clenched his fists. Adolf drove away all the humans on Fishman Island. Our people can no longer obtain information about Fishman Island. I have had direct contact with that guy. Although he is crazy, he is indeed a rational madman. I even suspect that he asked us to kneel down to test our bottom line. It doesn't matter. It's just a fish kingdom. The fleet will set off in two days and disappear with the boring legend. The god of agriculture said calmly. 800 years have passed, and history has become an uncertain legend. This sea has always been ruled by the world government and the world's nobles. It is like this now, and it will be no exception in the future. The sword-wielding god of finance said calmly in a matter-of-fact tone. They have already announced to the world that they will destroy Fishman Island, and use absolute force to maintain the dignity and authority of the world government and the world's nobles. Now they are giving in before the battle even starts. Don't they have any face? And they are the fish that they have discriminated against for 800 years. 
What if these fish can really do something, why do they beg them like dogs? During this period, they even turned a blind eye to the human traffickers who caught them and auctioned them. In the final analysis, they just looked down on them from the bottom of their hearts. What if Adolf really does what he says? Soldiers have already discovered the whereabouts of mermaids under Marinefort, and they have complete control over the Navy's every move. Giving up the peace talks now is just a loss of face, and there will be endless troubles after the war. Although they have a high-end combat force that can make the final decision, the more Zhang Guo thinks about it, the more uneasy he feels. On one side is the picture of the future navy sailing on the sea and being attacked, and on the other side is this group of high-ranking five elders who are so stubborn and want to save face. He is overwhelmed. Enough, Sengoku. We are the ones with the highest authority. The navy only needs to obey our orders. In this battle, we want to see Fishman Island completely sink to the bottom of the sea. The five elders were tired of listening and directly scolded. Single quote dot 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 exclamation mark exclamation mark. Sengoku's eyes were wide open, and he felt that his hair was about to stand up. He was furious and wanted to say something but couldn't. He could only clench his fists tightly and suppress his emotions in his chest. Humph, you will regret it. The five elders with the highest authority watched Sengoku leave the room indifferently. If it wasn't for the interests of the world government, they would not tolerate such a tone. Fishman Jinbei is still a Shichibukai. Let him capture Adolf and hand him over to the world government. Otherwise, he will be stripped of his title of Shichibukai and killed together. They really didn't take Fishman Island seriously. It was just a few million people, so they would be exterminated. I am, sitting high on the throne of the void, just lowered his cold eyes. Of course they knew the legend of Poseidon, the sea king and the mermaid princess, but if they really cared, how could they treat Fishman Island like that? During the long rule of the celestial dragons, destroying countries was just a game, and countless races were exterminated, including the Lunaria clan, which was called the god clan and whose racial awakening was even better than the mythical beast clan. King Adolf, we have found warships that are being coated at the Navy headquarters, Marineford, a total of 30 ships, far exceeding the scale of the Demon Slayer order. But we haven't confirmed who is on the ship yet, should we get closer? The thousand-man team ordered by Adolf to go to the Navy headquarters, Marineford, sent a report. A full 1,000 mermaids surrounded the entire Navy headquarters. Not to mention the warships, even the rafts thrown into the sea can be seen clearly. Don't fight with them, focus on gathering intelligence, monitor in shifts 24 hours a day, and send back letters at any time. Message. Ryugu Castle Adolf gave instructions. Yes. Although the number of people is not small, they have not received military training, and their professional quality is far from comparable to the Navy, and even their experience is inferior to that of pirates. But there is no way, time is tight, so use it. In Ryugu Castle, in addition to Adolf, there is a group of people. Violet. Adolf looked at the woman in the purple dress next to him. Violet took two steps forward and came in front of him. Adolf took the opportunity to hug her and let her sit on him, while he sat on the throne. Her heartbeat accelerated and she was embarrassed. She secretly glanced at Hancock and the others next to her, but she did not struggle. Instead, she leaned on the strong chest. With the ability of the staring fruit, she saw everything Adolf did on Fishman Island. His arrogant and confident demeanor had an impact on a girl like her. I will pass on what I saw to you. After coming to his senses, he quickly pinched his fingers and put them upside down in Adolf's eye sockets. The conversation between Admiral Sengoku and the Old Star, the warship being coded at the Navy headquarters, the Vice Admiral on the warship, the high-level meeting within the Navy. Fishman Island is under Marihoa, very close to the Navy headquarters. There is really no secret there, and they know what color pants you wear. What little tricks you are going to do are all in sight, and the silent version is live and intuitive. After that, learn lip reading, and you can see everything you say. Violet, you have worked hard, and your next task is very important. Keep an eye on Sengoku, the three admirals, the chief of staff Crane, and the five elders of the world government, I am and other important figures. Quote. Pay attention to every word they say. And I hope you can learn the observation hockey from Hancock and others, and deeply develop the staring fruit, 
such as seeing the radio waves of Den Den Mushi, seeing different spaces, and even seeing the past and the future. Quote. Your ability is strategic and will directly affect the whole world. Adolf said solemnly to Violet. Well, I know. Seeing Adolf's expression, Violet nodded seriously. Adolf, let me help you in the next battle. Hancock was worried and didn't even feel jealous. Don't be nervous, everything has been arranged. I will use this war to tell the world who is the real king of this sea. Adolf grinned, his eyes filled with excitement and madness. And this day, followed by the arrival of. The sea is full of people, and the sea is full of people. Hem. A kainu stood on the deck of the warship and frowned at the sea. This group of mermaids has been staring at us for several days, and they can't be driven away. The adjutant said. Let's go. Our ability is too limited in the sea. Aokiji said while lying on a sun lounger on another warship. HMPH, a group of rats. Let's go. Yes. Dash 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 King Adolf, the Navy warships have officially entered the sea, led by two generals, Aokiji and Akainu. There are 30 warships, and each warship has a thousand elite Navy soldiers. The head of the thousand-man regiment who was carrying out the surveillance mission reported nervously. Keep an eye on them from a distance. Yes. They actually sent two generals. This is troublesome. Neptune was getting uneasy. Aokiji's ice fruit ability is really tricky in the sea. Jinbei frowned. Thirty warships. Otohime was shocked. Don't show your uneasy expression in front of the people. Adolf sat on the throne, and his calm words shocked several people. After they regained their composure, Adolf said, Otohime, you and the left minister lead 30,000 soldiers to help the people of Fishman Island leave the island immediately. Anyone who burns, kills, and loots during this period will be killed without mercy. Neptune, Jinbei, you go to the checkpoint and use the terrain to intercept and block. Leave 5,000 soldiers on Fishman Island and wait for my order at any time. Action. With an order, everyone immediately took action. My compatriots, I am the current king of Fishman Island, Adolf. Next, Fishman Island will officially engage in battle with the Navy. All civilians on the island will leave the island in an orderly manner under the leadership of Otohime and the left minister. Don't panic, don't be afraid, I will tell you with a complete victory that we can do it. Please give me some time, some trust. After announcing the words to the whole island, he hung up. Trust, of course we believe it. If you don't want to leave, just go together, this is also our hometown. At worst, we can fight together, why are we afraid of them? Adolf's words to stabilize his emotions, but aroused their deep resentment. They have been willing to sacrifice their lives for their brothers and go through fire and water for their benefactors. How can they just run away like this? They are such a jerk. Pop. Single quote. Otohime slapped him, don't waste the time that Lord Adolf has bought for us. And don't hold that lord back. Otohime, hasn't she been? What we can do now is to leave the island as soon as possible, so that King Adolf has no worries. Said the left minister. Everyone, leave the island quickly, move quickly. Family is a unit, don't get separated. Otohime and the left minister led 30,000 soldiers, and it seemed that they had mobilized one-third of the army's strength, leaving the front line with insufficient troops. But the army formed in a short time, without weapons, chaotic command, and a group formation, there is no difference between 70,000 and 100,000. On the contrary, if there is chaos when leaving the island, the population of Fishman Island is 5 million, and there may be more deaths than on the front battlefield. Want to escape? You'll regret going against the world government. Mary Geois and the five elders looked at the Den Den Mushi with disdain and sneered, Kazaru, don't let them run away. Yes, yes, it's a really troublesome task. Kazaru put down the Den Den Mushi and looked at the dark sea in front of him with a headache. The deep sea is really scary. It's impossible to stop people in this environment. Since it's so troublesome, why not just give up and come to Fishman Island to drink tea and fish? Quote, question mark exclamation mark exclamation mark. Adolf. Kazaru looked at the looming figure in the sea beside him in astonishment. 
Mermaid Jutsu Sea Twist. Adolf's hands of armed color penetrated into the sea water, grabbed the sea water and turned it suddenly, the invisible sea water was like a giant python strangling, squeezing madly towards the middle, and even the shape of the flowing water could be seen with the naked eye. It's really scary, it's going to tear the ship's membrane as soon as it comes. Kazaru's face sank, and the scary thing he said this time was really scary. If it weren't for the armament hockey that covered the entire warship coating, it would probably be torn apart in an instant. But even so, the coating was like a piece of iron that was twisted into a knot and severely deformed. Single quote dot 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 exclamation mark exclamation mark. Kazaru didn't feel relaxed at all, but became more solemn. Break. The impermanent water suddenly changed its direction, and the flexibility of water was fully exerted. Even with Kazaru's armament hockey, it was still torn apart. It's over, Marshal Sengoku. Looking at the drowning. Kazaru was so discouraged that he even gave up resistance. If it was sea stone, he could still resist, but in this deep sea, when the coating is broken, it means the ability user is dead. The seawater can't even move a finger, and no matter how strong the ability is, it can't be used. General Borsellino. Take General Borsellino back to land. The moment before the seawater flooded, the adjutant and others ran towards Kazaru frantically, trying to rescue him. Mermaid Karate Water Heart. A large number of water drops came like a cannonball, blasting them away, vomiting bitter water, water filling their mouths and noses, and losing the ability to resist at the first sight. It's a pity that I'm very busy now and don't have time to fight passionately with you. Adolf lifted Kazaru's feet with one hand and handcuffed him with the sea stone handcuffs handed to him by the fishman warrior with the other hand. Then he squeezed out a small group of bubbles with coral bubbles and put them on Kazaru's head, so that he wouldn't drown, which would be funny. Adolf, everyone underestimates you. Kazaru was drowning in the sea with his head covered, feeling powerless and helpless. He was a general who had been in the industry for so many years, but he fell into the ditch like this. This trench is really scary. Didn't you underestimate Fishman Island? You dare to come to the deep sea with a thin coating. I don't know who gave you the courage. Adolf took off his Den Den Mushi with his own hands, and then threw Kazaru to the Fishman warrior next to him. With Admiral Kazaru's strength, it is not difficult to cover the film layer with armament color, and even cover the entire warship. But the coating itself is too fragile and can only be passively endured. Facing his all-pervasive and soft attack, it can't withstand it at all. If there is a slight hole, the sea water will rush in and it will be over. To put it bluntly, as long as they break their film, can't they do whatever they want later? You take Kazaru and imprison him in the underwater cave, and let him soak in the sea like this, and never leave the sea water. Right minister, I taught you the anti-ship tactics before. You lead two 10,000-man divisions to capture all the remaining nine warships, and imprison all the navy on Fishman Island. Yes, King Adolf. The right minister confidently puffed out his chest, and all the members responded enthusiastically. In order to block their retreat, the world government sent ten warships and Kazaru early to hide deep in the sea from the New World side, hoping to encircle them from the front and back. Unfortunately, they have a perspective plug-in, and the ambush has become alone. The right minister looked up at the navy fleeing in the sea, desperately trying to return to the sea. These navy are all elites of the headquarters, and one can fight four or five fishman warriors without any problem. But in the sea, it is impossible to fight a protracted war. If the battle is slightly more intense, the breath in the mouth can't be held. According to the current position, it is impossible for them to swim to the surface of the sea. Fishman Island is under the Red Earth continent and the Red Earth continent is as wide as the Grand Line, how magnificent. Rayleigh can swim from the Sabayati Archipelago to the Kingdom of Women, but it is impossible to swim from the bottom of the sea to the New World in one breath. Divide the troops into nine groups, sink all the warships to the bottom of the sea, and capture all the marines alive. Yes. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.